her hand is literally like this close to my face and there's just like pocket mushrooms like in, like just like <gasps> a couple little mushroom pieces sitting in her hand and she's like do you want any of these i have a few left and i'm like on the i was plane? just like, like i'm like what i kind of like <laughs> was fuck? so shocked like i kind of woke up and was like you were dreaming like, like, no, it was like no am i dreaming <laughs> Speaking of banging, like, what do you think that, like, people? <laughs> Speaking what of banging, what a transition. To. I was on psychedelic pre-workout. Nice. Yeah. I was not. I, was. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> Bro, we'll get well, me on the ground crawling. That would, that would like, make me want to start, like, I tutting. I start but... barking. <laughs> I'm like, rough, rough, babe. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the I'm Peaking podcast. Uh, we have a question of the day for you, which is, uh, you know, it's a month into New Year's now. Um, and we all know that you've probably, well, okay, I don't want to be negative here, but you might have dropped the ball on one of your New Year's resolutions. Uh, I know I have. What? Same. Have you guys? You, no, yeah. absolutely. Definitely. What? <laughs> I, I don't know what it is yet, but but I, I'd like to start off my year by like writing down the things that I would want to do and have already failed purposely so that I can only go up from here. <laughs> I think the one thing that I failed was starting a New Year's resolution. I, I, I told myself I was going to do uh, it. I didn't start. Like, I didn't write anything down. Okay. Like, it's it's blank. You know, better late than never. <laughs> I feel like I'll just, I'll figure it out as time progresses. No, period. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I'm right there with you. It's time. Oh, I got it. Better sleep schedule. Mm. I like, okay. it, it, for me, it comes and goes. But I really wanted to start this year off by like waking up before like 10. But since I'm sick, it just, it, it got away from me. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Let us know in the comments what New Year's resolution you guys dropped the ball on. Uh, Tyler, do you have any? Do you have anything? <laughs> yeah, I was like, my sleep schedule's pretty good. Uh, I think desserts. <laughs> Yours? Was, yeah. Oh, well, no I mean, way. Yeah. At least since the beginning of the year. Usually it's terrible, but uh, I haven't had too much in the beginning of the I year. I'm mad. Schedule this time <laughs> off. But I do eat a ridiculous amount of sweets and desserts, and I was like, I'll try not to have dessert. And mm. it's definitely, I've already... I think the one did I did not work out. I've fallen short on the snowboarding one. I, I wanted to go snowboarding more. <laughs> oh, no. And you know why? It's because I haven't bought your snowboard yet uh, that you um, dropped. Mm. I actually just got it in the mail the other day. Really? It's so awesome. Uh, spe speaking, I want, I want it. Bro, so, I'm going speaking to talk speaking to you of snowboarding, episode. actually, um, in like two weeks, I'm going back home to get my snowboarding equipment. And we go, Daniel please? and I were talking about, yeah, yeah, like when we come I'm, back. I'm going snowboarding in like two days. I'm excited. Oh, I'm so I'm going to Mammoth. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. It'll be it'll be around the end of the season, like, yeah. you know, end of January, early February. Yeah. But like, yeah, I'm, I'm literally going home just to get my gear. Let's go for sure. Uh, that'll it's give like a day trip. That'll give you enough time to, to buy his snowboard. <laughs> 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 so I actually am going to get it. That's sick. But um, yeah, so let's get a proper intro going here. Um. Again, welcome back to the I'm Peaking Podcast. Thank you guys for being here. I am your host, Devin. And who do we have over here? Hi, I'm Jan. Totally just Hi, I'm Nan. I'm Mickey. And for our lovely guest today, uh, I curated an entire intro. Oh, wow. So it's like it's like his love letter. It it's your, it's just, his, just, his love letter to you. I'm, I'm excited. You know, you I, know, love you, I love I you, Dad, to, but get to it. I <laughs> wanted to do a proper one. So today we have an extremely talented musician, one that has made immense strides in the music industry from EDM to hip hop. He's collaborated with the likes of the Chainsmokers. Tory Lanez, ASAP Ferg, Zoo, Dylan Francis, the list goes on, as well as curated his own record label, Good Vibrations, alongside Slander. Uh, he's named after a move that in Pokemon causes the target to lose one fourth of their maximum HP after each turn if they are asleep. He's a workaholic that likes to take all the vowels except for the last one out of words, and I never know if he's gotten enough sleep whenever I see him. Nightmare. Welcome to the podcast. You got him blushing. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Blushing. I want one next. <laughs> I gotta my point turn, out. I gotta point out, bro. You even had like a vocal change. There was like a pitch change to like his like, like, speech. He oh, did yeah. his like love letter to like. I, I'm not gonna lie. I I the first person I read this to was Michelle, and I made sure to do it with all the like vocal <laughs> changes. <laughs> and everything i'm like was it good and she's like wow that was really good you don't do that for like me or anyone else so. yikes dude you haven't even done that for just me i secretly really oh. have a crush on tyler it's just for so. tyler yeah. we can tell secret where's tyler. the secret i think i think it's it's safe to say that Devin is a fan 
I think we all oh, are. We all are. Oh well, my god. Okay. To be fair, you. you know, we've we've known each other since what, April. Now? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I I would I would say that you know we're we're on the level of like friends now. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you can you can be a fan of your friends. That's true. That's I'm true. a fan of you. Oh. I'm a fan yeah. of you. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, before we start getting sappy. Uh, yeah. Me, sappy number. Uh, well, speaking of your name, by the way, so yes. uh, Nightmare, um, we have a dire question, which is, why did you le- why did you take out all the vowels in yeah, the name happened? except for the E at the end? You did the same thing for Dreamverse. Yeah. What happened? You know, uh, I think the Dreamverse was sort of based on the Nightmare thing, but, uh, you know, it was originally Nightmare came from my... Uh, my real name, my name, first name Tyler, last name is Mareni. And when I was growing oh. up as a kid, somehow playing sports and stuff, my nickname just became T Mare, which is like T. Oh, that's oh. really cool. M A R E. That's sick. Okay. And so T M A R E is the last five letters of the word nightmare. So that's kind of where the word nightmare came from. And then the spelling was strictly uh, just thinking about being able to find the name yeah. and search me and things like that. And just thinking of branding it. And, you know, I liked having the T in the very middle because yeah. that's my first, first letter, my first name right. and all that kind of stuff. And imagine it being seven letters and just symmetrical. And yeah, I mean, yeah. it wasn't really, I you didn't think what? too Looking much in it. Looking at it right now, because we do have your name on the whiteboard. It yeah. looks, it looks great. Without the E, it does look, it looks, it's a little different. It's yeah. Kinda, yeah. I don't know. It, you huh. could, could also not, immediately know it's the word nightmare i think that yeah you, having well, the e on there makes you, you go nightmare. yeah you would never yeah. think that i mean because the thing is is so many djs end up taking like the vowels out of their names you know we <laughs> yeah. even talked about this on a on yeah. the, the social clip that we did for your show <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. and um so it's just it's just kind of funny because we we were speculating that it's you know strictly for aesthetic purposes oh yeah we had our right? own conspiracy yeah. theories it's so, mostly i mean it's you know derived from my name but yeah, then, yeah it is essentially just as that got it i know i mean at, at the end of the day you got to think about it too all names and titles are just exactly that. It's branding. It's it's titles. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make, don't get me wrong. A lot of people want to have like something special to it, like how you put, you said like you put a T right in the middle because I want that to you know that means Tyler. That yeah. means my name. Yeah, it's I I know like personally I've struggled with some of the names of other DJs. Like yeah. one I always bring up is uh, subtract. Yeah, I could I could never pronounce it yeah. for the longest <laughs> time. But I will say yours is a lot easier. Like like just like you said when you look at it, you're like. Oh, okay. Like nightmare. Yeah. You know, it's not like, what, what does this mean? (laughs) I will say though, when I Google it, I even, even to this day, okay, maybe not to this day now, but I still type in nightmare. Correct. Like the exact word. I'm like, all right. Nightmare DJ. (laughs) DJ. 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 Spell anything correctly. Yeah. Type DJ after it'll give you the right one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's true. It's definitely it's easy to recognize, but nobody knows how I spell it. You know, there's always somebody accidentally puts the A or takes out the E or like yeah. Yeah. Know, half yeah. the time when I get to a random festival and I have like my name on the yeah. trailer, it's just not right. But Nan thought it was because uh, the E is <laughs> already silent at the end. So why take that one out? That's true. Yeah. You know? yeah. Actually Maybe really that true. was part of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's part of it. Was it was on purpose. It was on purpose. <laughs> But, uh, to rewind, I just I just realized in the intro, did you say Nightmare is a Pokemon move? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Yeah. So when a Pokemon is asleep, you usually go for Dream Eater or Nightmare. Oh, yeah. Okay. I only know Dream Eater. Yeah. Wow, did you ever play Pokemon? I did. I collected cards definitely when I was real little. Yeah. Um, and then Classic had all the cool shit and my parents yeah. threw it away at some point. What? Oh. It was very I sad. threw it away? I, I lost know. my like, Pokemon cards like in a out of the house fire. for years and then came back and was like, where did all that stuff go? And it was just like, uh, I don't know. It's all gone now. Dude, they yeah. could have sold, sold well. I know. Um, I lost all mine in a fire. Oh, oh, that's God. tough. That's it was it's tough, depressing. bro. I'm sorry to make it so depressing. <laughs> Wait, I was just thinking about my Pokemon cards. And it's I just okay. Went, I have some trauma, too, <laughs> also related to, uh, to Pokemon. Pokemon. To Pokemon? Yeah, so um, when I was younger, um, my parents put like a limit on how long I could play my Game Boy. Um, bro, you just gave me like yeah, oh yeah, no, I know flashbacks, Whoa, yeah. nineties, nineties so, flashbacks. So, so, so when I so my dad got me a Game Boy when I was in third grade, and then um, I the literally it was on Christmas the day of I brought it to my mom's and I was playing Pokemon for like three hours, and my mom was literally like, "You're not bringing that over here anymore." Like 
I don't care. Like you, it's not allowed here. In this which house. one though? My Game Boy. No, which Pokemon? Which Pokemon? Game? <laughs> Emerald. Ooh, okay, I was, I was, I was a Ruby girl. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, wait. Ruby, technically, wow. I started with Sapphire. I and then Emerald. Okay. So I was I was a Ruby guy. I, I started Ruby with Sapphire. Girl. Ruby then Emerald. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, at any rate, so um, so I could only play it at my dad's house, and then he put restrictions on it. And I could only play it on the weekends, and then um, there was one point in time where I was just playing it too much, and he got really upset. And um, uh, I think to like punish me, he pretended to run over my Game Boy. <gasps> and for two weeks, I was Game Boyless. And oh. uh, Game Boyless. And I thought that he had run it over. He literally started the car and everything. I was in my room crying. <laughs> And um, yeah, and he Dude, was just like, he comes back sad. and he's like, I'm sorry, dad, for outing you. But he's like, this is what happens when like, you know, you like don't listen. I don't, I can't even oh, remember yeah, what shit. it was like attached to. And then two weeks later, he was like, yeah, just kidding. I, I didn't <laughs> run it over. Uh, I'll, I'll do you, I'll do you one. My dad didn't do that. But there was a chest, like a little like lock box that yeah. he locked. So basically I couldn't even play games on the weekends. It's only on Mondays off. So like like the weekends damn. where there was a Monday off, holidays, yeah. that's the only time. Oh, dang. You had strict parents. That's some Asian shit. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> Here's the thing. And Game Boy Advance. That's, I just needed to throw that <laughs> me in too. there. Me too. Game Boy Advance. Not a Game Boy Color. I did no, have me one too. of those, though. Right, Game Boy Advance for me. Um, I figured out the code. And I was able to, to sneak and play. And I'm oh, to this day, God. as an adult now, I recognize dad probably knew. But the thing is, I would limit myself to maybe like 10 to 20 minutes of game time each That's day. It? What because, can you do in because 10 to 20 minutes? Wait. If I sat there and played, I'd get caught. How, how much would you get done in 10 minutes? Get, dude, in That's 10 not even minutes. a full gym run visit. He runs through like a field of grass and he's getting stopped yeah, by all this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't okay. have time for you, Pidgey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hear me out. Maybe maybe it was 30 minutes. I don't know. I just know it was in the time period where I would get home from school and my dad would then, because I, I would walk home. My elementary was very close. Yeah. So then my dad would go pick up my brother from high school, which was a 15 minute drive to get there, 15 minute back. So in my head, I have 30 minutes. I have 30 <laughs> minutes to play. Now, dad always went early to wait for my brother all that stuff but i only have until i hear the jingle jangles of the door wow so i need to i because here's the thing it's not like <laughs> oh you stop playing and put it away stop playing put it away lock it put it back in the closet put the suitcase there's back. a lot of steps there's a lot yeah. of steps <laughs> oh my gosh i used to watch pokemon and it was on channel five right after you go but i had to channel ride five. the bus home from our freaking elementary school me and devin went to the same channel elementary five. school Dan so and I, go I back. would ride the bus home. Oh my god, not me riding the bus, you guys. Damn, you rode the bus. <gasps> yeah, my mom what? made me ride what? the bus. Is there something wrong riding the bus? Because I rode the bus from in high school too. Okay, well, uh, to be fair, I lived right next to our elementary school. Uh, so okay, I but it was okay. like the school bus. It was oh, like the school bus. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would legit run home and you know when your backpack is like going the opposite way as your body when you're running that yeah. would be me in third I just grade got that visual. <laughs> me in third around. grade yeah. running home being like pokemon's on pokemon's on oh my god y'all yeah. just remind speaking of like watching tv pokemon like nostalgia, all that stuff yeah the nostalgia is happening for me right now i would also granted it was wb20 so channel 20 um uh or wb kids on channel 20 and I could only watch TV for like what thirty minutes, forty five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom went to late. Uh, my mom went to work late a lot because of me, since I would take the clock in the in that room and I would just push the time back so I could keep watching. Um, the thing is, I'm <laughs> you not, did your mom dirty. I'm, like, I'm oh, not telling oh mom that. <laughs> I'm not telling dad that. And uh, to my understanding, she has been late to work before. But it's like there's, it's, you know what, mom? That's on you. There's only one clock that I did it to. There's. <laughs> 15 other clocks in this house yeah why you gotta keep choosing that clock oh you know? my god because that was my room no i'm not talking about you i'm talking to your mom yeah like, you know figure this yeah. i'm let's, trying to, i'm trying to like defend you right now let's be let's be real i always think about these things as an adult now and i'm like i should have been caught and maybe i was and that's why i got in trouble because dad would come get mad at me for it he was like mm. you need to know that you fucked up mm. uh. otherwise because like i'm sure i'm sure they could have like no, seen like oh yeah there's you know there's all these other clocks whatever my dad would notice he's like hey what like i need to go wake up wake up my wife like you need to like go to work <laughs> um but they have to come and tell me they have yeah. to come and like you know punish me because it's like my choices affected them yeah did you yeah. ever get in trouble when you yeah. were younger for uh that's like I the worst thing kid, that happened but yeah i mean i don't know i went to like a pretty like 
conservative school in the south you know so yeah. it was a private school yeah where'd you where'd you grow yeah up? I, w- I grew up in raleigh north carolina um, oh so okay. wow yeah it's only a few of us from north super carolina. different wow. porter yeah. we were just talking about porter yeah me and him are both from the same little area whoa um, did you know each other growing up or not, not really in life no i mean i uh yeah I, I mean i heard of his music he was like 17 i think when he wow. was first really blown up yeah. and i was maybe 19 I had like just gone to college also out in North Carolina. Yeah. Um, Wait, how old are you now? I'm 33. Yeah. So I graduated in uh, 2013 from college and then moved to LA like immediately, basically. Yeah. yeah um, but yeah, I was, well, I don't know. I didn't get yeah. in too much trouble. Classic, just like drinking, like getting <laughs> caught with alcohol, like hidden in my backpack oh, yeah. in my closet <laughs> and like, uh, yeah, breaking into the dad's liquor cabinet and stuff like that. And, what? and I smoking weed once or twice. Damn, Dude, I personally never have any experience with that, but it's funny whenever I hear that. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. That's like from a completely different, yeah. just like yeah. point of life. I style. can't, even, <laughs> I can't even, even imagine like doing that. Dude, first of all, I would be yeah. in trouble forever. I'd be grounded still. Yeah, <laughs> I'd bro. Yeah, yeah no, I, I was been like kicked. Out. I was like the worst one that always got the punishment. It was always me. Like in high school, my phone got taken away, and it was stuck in like the table in front of the door so my dad always made sure that it was there but i had a chromebook in high school so i just like text all my friends on my laptop i'm like you can't do shit because it's for school that's you know what i'm like- sad i missed out on i feel like i was like just i mean i had a phone in high school i think i got my first phone like sophomore year of high school which wow. is oh, damn you got it late absurd to think about i got it in sixth grade I, six <laughs> to jump off of that i got my phone senior year of high school yeah. I had that's to, crazy. I had to share my phone with my brothers that's crazy. for a while. I had to buy my own prepaid minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my no, god! No, like remember that. Remember when yeah. you remember junior it? year, junior year Metro CDs. PCS. No, I bought my own phone in secret and didn't tell my parents. But remember that's when funny. you had to like you only had a, a certain amount of text messages that you mm-hmm. could send? Oh yeah, yeah. For sure. I always went over. I always went over. No, I always went yeah, over, and, and I, was, I would get yelled at. Or like nope. when you accidentally press the internet button, you're like, oh shit, shit, shit. No, no, no. no. The worst part was when. I was like talking to a girl and like yes. we were like oh, texting back and forth yeah. and my parent my dad is like so why are you over again and I'm just like um, um I don't know I feel like sometimes they would read my, like sending photos they would like sometimes read my call log because it was like with like my first boyfriend and like obviously like uh-huh you're so in love with like young love and like I would always call and I just feel like they would see how long I was on the phone call for I'm just like uh, oh, no. I don't know. Like four AM. I don't know. Oh, that's crazy. I I, I got you one beat. Aim. <coughs> Aim instant messenger. Ooh. Could never Ooh. could never oh, call. What was your username? What was your username? I didn't have one. Mr. Ty Guy94. <laughs> Pink melon jelly with two L's in melon because oh I didn't know how to spell. <laughs> this is about to be so emb- embarrassing. What? A deep cut. Zatu eight oh one. Why? <laughs> That was my favorite Pokemon at the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Full circle it. moment for getting back to Pokemon. Did you, Let's go. Did you have one? What was Mine yours? Mine was just Team Air. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, keeping it simple. It was like a foreshadow that was my to like, love that. You know what? Damn. I still use Mr. Ty Guy to this day. I've gotten rid of the 94. Like, I, don't, I don't need that anymore. But <laughs> Mr. I probably Ty? tried to get that. Mr. Ty Guy. I don't think yeah. I started, like had a social media account until I was in high school. I stayed off social media until like maybe like sophomore year of high school. Damn, you yeah. got some self control. I, yeah. I was on Facebook the year it started. Damn, I think I just I just had strict parents. I was scared. I also was. Yeah, yeah. I think I was too. Yeah, my yeah. dad. My dad like was like he would just give me so much shit for it, and it's so funny because now my dad is on it more than like <laughs> anyone. All I know. of our parents, dude. Any face, person Facebook, I know. Facebook is for like the parents. No, my dad yeah. is obsessed with Facebook. I'm sorry <laughs> again, Dad. Wow, I'm just adding you so much, Dad. dad. Sorry if you're watching this. <laughs> sorry, Dad. <laughs> no, the real, the real, the real conversation is MySpace. MySpace. I, I, I was allowed I was too. I was the too music. Young I wasn't allowed I did to have a MySpace. I was not allowed to have I had a top Neither eight friends. The top eight brutal. friends. Oh. What? <laughs> learning how to format in HTML yeah. and all that. Just what to get usually, the music you yeah. want. Yeah. Oh my god. Don't you usually have like a song that's like in your yeah. page? What was mm-hmm. your song? <sighs> Man, I don't, I don't even remember. know. I actually remember. I wish I could remember. It was back then. I was listening to a lot of like. Red Hot Chili Peppers, like Arctic Monkeys. Oh, and nice. Like, Ooh, Arctic classic, Monkeys. Wait, classic did you hear rock. that they're breaking the up? Keys Wait, no. And stuff. I, I heard Arctic Monkeys are breaking up. Okay, really? well, thank God oh, I God. just saw them. Really? Thank I think. I've never God. seen one of their shows, but they're one of my I favorites. I heard mm, Alex Turner. 
please <laughs> lord I, have mercy i i remember my type the, of guy the artist uh i, I don't they think are. a lot of people listen to sherwood but it was sherwood and Ooh, it'd be nice. like you know a song in my head for the yeah. longest time like it was very like stepping into i'm sad but not really yeah. kind of grunge mm, nice but like emotional. very like yeah yeah exactly <laughs> yeah i've been in the emotional music since then oh now that's like, why you're still a sad boy to this day yeah, yeah. it all <laughs> makes sense that. makes a lot of sense yeah mine was 30 seconds to mars at the time oh i remember getting that a zune did hit. dude remember oh zunes God, i, I got a zune that. for like a christmas <laughs> one time and it had uh the kill preloaded <laughs> onto it wow and i remember watching that music video mm. and i was i was like I was kind of like weirded out because it was like a it's like a weird music video, but at the same time I was like super intrigued by it. <laughs> and then I remember like going to school and like everyone was listening to it, and I'm like, oh, these guys are cool. And then I and then I started listening to all their other music. Their music started popping up on like Rock Band. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, Ooh, they're sick. Band, yeah. yeah, yeah. Deep guitar cuts, hero. Man. I was absurdly good at Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Oh. Oh. Favorite like, song, Guitar Hero. I don't know go. Why. Favorite Oof. song. Oh my god! Oh my god! I could never decide this. It's like <laughs> picking a favorite child. What's that one that uh, was like really hard? What's the hardest yeah, one? Oh, oh, the, I forgot. Do the fire and flames. Yeah, fire flames. Fire I could do all that shit. Five, like five stars. Really? But yeah, it was kind of ridiculous. You know, I couldn't do that. But expert. tap tap revenge though. Ooh. Okay. Tap tap tap, oh, yeah. tap revenge. <laughs> Mine was wow. mine was the drums on Rock Band. <laughs> yeah, I the loved drums. playing the drums on Rock Band. Yeah. My favorite <laughs> song to play on Rock Band was that one Paramore song. Oh, is it that one? <laughs> the drums were still was into so you. Fun. Yeah. No, that's misery business. Misery business. Yeah, that. that's the one I was just yeah. singing. I think. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you guys. I can't. I'm blanking out right now, bro. What is going on? You know what I've noticed as of late too, like that I've been really liking, like because we're talking about all this like old music. This is like the punk nostalgia cross era. Yeah. Punk, punk is coming back. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Like, what do you guys think about that? Like, is, is there is there like a, a... It's like it's like also a new type of like coming back because now Gen Z, they're kind of like, I wouldn't say bringing it back to like where it was, but they're putting their own twist to it. I mean, mm -hmm. definitely a lot of stuff from the 90s is coming back. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because of like t on TikTok, like everything's just being shared. Do you think it's because this current Gen Z generation didn't have time to implement their own like trends. And so they're going back in time or is it? Hmm. I think it's possible, it's but both, yeah. I think it's just like, I think just history repeats itself, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. like yeah. things come back. I know like, right. I, um, whatchamacallit, like sometimes in the car when I'm like switching to my phone, like the radio will be on the first thing mm. in the car. And so um, the other day the radio came on and they were talking about like what's coming in and what's going out right now what on, is I think, going on out? Kiss FM. And like, they were just talking about like some stuff like cargo pants, uh, the return of cargo oh, pants. Is, in. No, no, no. It's going out on the way right now. And then what's coming in is like, uh, tw twid twiddler uh, twiddlers i don't even know how to pronounce it <laughs> jinko jeans coming back i don't up? yeah maybe i, <laughs> I don't know something something else that's like it's uh, a no maybe it's like um it's like a uh, stuff that's like frilled like frilled up uh i don't know if it's like sleeves or pants oh frill like frilled yeah. pants like those are coming back oh Jen, no Jen, your fashion oh no does fa is like do fashion trends come back like that a hundred percent. Yeah. What do you guys think if you when you hear the word like vanilla girl? Vanilla girl. Yeah, vanilla like girl. Like basic what do you white girl. Okay. I, I think of. I, think, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think of like, because now for Gen Alpha. I think of like you Gen know, Alpha. What yeah, 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 is yeah. this? Well, I'm learning like, something. Like the ten year olds in university. Like like, like 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 the ten year olds to like twelve year olds. Vanilla girl is like actually now a compliment. Nice. Now it's like very <laughs> like it's like <laughs> muted colors like you know the beige and uh, like the oh, coziness. Brown. brown is is in right now. Brown brown is in uh, like okay yeah, uh, yeah. Silver is like going Wait. out and like no nah, y'all can suck my I'm ass brown. on that I'm one. Brown. So Silver's forever in, babe. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, not vanilla girls like what you want to be because you weird. back then it was like oh you're just a basic bitch. But now they're like oh you want to be a vanilla I think girl because that's the, the train aesthetic. for me being a vanilla girl has <laughs> long it's We're it's gone. Girls, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are some vanilla like, girls over of, there. Kind of tan, <laughs> tan, tan tan no, we're like we're kind of like color coordinating a yeah. little bit over here. Love that. <laughs> We're the we're the the white themed couch. But Sounds another thing is like, uh, <laughs> like that. but another thing that's coming back in like the EDM industry is like trap. 
So like, mm. do you, yes. what do you think about trap coming back? I love it. I mean, I think, yeah, I feel like we went through a phase where just, I don't know. There was just so many people doing it and then it got stale and then everybody moved to something else. And yeah. then I yeah. feel like it's really nice to see people making it again. Because yeah. I feel like for a while, I just never got demos that were trap music and, wow. and stuff like it, you know, from when I started, it was nothing but that. And then it went into like dubstep stuff. And yeah. then mm-hmm. yeah. now it's kind of great because there's just so many styles branching off. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you know, like you said, everything's cyclical, but it always comes with kind of this new flavor from whatever yeah. mm-hmm. the inspiration that the new generation is bringing up. And hundred mm-hmm. percent, you know, most obvious, like knock two ISO guys, yes. like yes. a lot of what they it. make is like really like the same energy. Mm-hmm. I feel like as a lot of stuff that was like what helped me make a name for myself and, you know, all grime and all that kind of stuff. But it, as soon as you hear it, you know, it's not, you know, it's one of their songs and yeah. it has yeah. a specific yeah. sound, they have, sound. They have their signature. style to it. And, um, you know, I think, yeah, I'm excited. It's, yeah. it's really fun. I've been playing a lot more of it in my sets. And Fuck it's yeah. nice. Well, speaking of that, I mean, so you're someone who got like really big back in the 2015 scene. I know yeah. um, Skrillex played your song, I think, Street at Ultra. Oh, yes. And that kind of like started everything for you. But yeah, that was I, crazy. I have, I have a question for you. Do you feel like the scene is becoming a little more mainstream like how it was mm. back then? Because right now, festivals are at like an all-time high. There are so many so, now. So like every month like, now. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we were it talking about how we used to have to wait like three months mm-hmm. in between each yeah. festival. And now you can you can find one pretty much every month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And not just um, in California, too. And yeah, tours, and too. Like, just like regular exactly. tours. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right? I used to be like, cool, like there's week. like four or five tours we should schedule around these guys <clears> so we're not like competing and now it's just it's all there's like three tours touring. in every city every yeah. night it's like sometimes like you would especially in LA like there's so many shows you would go to one like the whole weekend every night yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like multiple yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. fucking nuts but, but do you feel like EDM is becoming more mainstream again um I don't know if it's like more mainstream I mean I it's nice it's definitely nice to see um you know parts of EDM in certain genres and, and making it too uh, you know yeah. there are parts that yeah. are for sure but i think the underground scene is thriving as well you it know, is 100 yeah. thriving there's right there's so much good music and so many artists and um i think <gasps> who's just your favorite underground artist has. right now oh man that's another one where i'm just too indecisive <laughs> for this career honestly all i do is just <laughs> be indecisive all day um why he doesn't sleep uh yeah i know literally <laughs> in, just thinking what, about what's your sign you're an air sign i'm a libra uh, you're a libra mm, yeah makes sense there you go yeah Nice. That's great. Actually, <laughs> Libra's a good. That's I, great. I, I think Libra. I know a lot of um, like Libras, and all of them are very smart and talented, and, and like a lot of things. <laughs> Libra, you're the Libra. <laughs> Libra Libra's guy right here. Libras are very calm. From because my dad was That's Libra. Yeah. My dad was Libra. Like the I, the whole ideal of that is like they're very balanced people. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely try to do that a lot. I think that's like a very important. Sometimes. thing in life for Ooh. sure having a balance of everything no matter what it yeah. is yeah um yeah favorite going back to favorite um you know i was just listening to um you know sultan and uh mm. there's a guy named sultan i've seen the name wait he's yeah. from the middle east incredibly okay. mm-hmm. dope music he, every time oh. he sends me a song it's like unbelievable <laughs> and nazar as well as um oh yeah oh yeah, a couple yeah, like God. demos Mozart's that I recently good. got yep. from him that were just insane. <clears throat> Super nice so guy good. too. Um, I feel like I've seen the names. Yeah, I could play a few and you might recognize them, or just yeah. I don't know. Mickey but they're Shiraz great. Before. I'll send you some links too. Yeah. They're also you, good. You but guys know me. I'm terrible at remembering the name. Like I'll, I'll hear yeah. a song. Like I know this song. Look at the the artist name like once. And yeah. Then, yeah, and then it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. there's uh yeah I don't know. It's just so so many good ones. But more and more often now too, I feel like I'm like. I'll hear a song in a set or somewhere and I'm like, I need to find this song. What is it? It's yeah. gotta be someone that I Dude, know. Dude, that's how And we then I find it and it's just no <laughs> one I've ever al- heard of. I'm like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. I would also get pissed at like when I find a really good song and Shazam just does not and work. it doesn't work. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. That just work. happened to me. Dude, that the I Darby actually... remix? Dude, thing? yeah. So when, t- when Tyler and I met, um, at it was Project Glow and uh, I think I tagged you in a post and then, um, which McCall, I messaged you. I was like, dude, you have to tell me which song this <laughs> is, and thank thank God you saw the message, and yeah, I was able you were able to send it to me. But you know, um, you know, it's funny, Tyler. Since that day, he always pulls out his phone 
at every <laughs> festival trying to Shazam something. Hey, <laughs> sometimes it works. it works. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. But a lot of the times, these artists are doing like a VIP in this moment. Yeah, or like an unreleased something. Yeah. And then exactly. they don't release it until yeah. like five months later. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm kind of over it now. Yeah. Just, saying. Um, just kidding. Well, I'm not over it. I'm no, not, not over it. I'm not over it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It. Please give it to me. Yeah, just <laughs> give it to me more. <laughs> it's a good way for like um, artists, I think smaller artists to get exposure though. Because oh, yeah. you know, I would have never known who Darby was if it wasn't for you playing it. In that, yeah, totally. In that, in that uh, mix. But um, sorry, to, to um, go back though to the like, the EDM mainstream thing. I, w- I had a comment um, just like that. I've been seeing a lot of th- like EDM being bled into like mainstream music. So like on the radio, for yeah. example, mm-hmm. Mickey, you brought it up before uh, the song strangers. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. By a, uh, is it Kenya, Kenya Grace? Grace? Yeah. Like it's, it's got a liquid DMB beat. Yeah. yeah. And that's crazy. That and like, it, like blew I, the yeah. fuck up. Yeah. I'm so hyped. About Another that. one I think is um, super shy by a, uh, uh, Small jeans? Small is it small new jeans? jeans? New jeans. Oh. Sorry, new jeans. <laughs> new jeans. That sorry. That that's got like a that's small got like a jeans. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I got mixed up. Okay, I'm getting old. Uh, so oh, that one has also like a slight DMV yeah. uh, beat to it too. So I'm seeing all these like little crossovers yeah. happening. I and, I love that. I mean, yeah, I definitely noticed that as well. I think yeah. it's it's only good for us or me yeah. at least. <laughs> and you've produced like you've you've produced with hip hop artists before. So yeah. I'm sure like there's a lot of influence that, you know, definitely happens behind the scenes from the EDM scene. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think um yeah, definitely. Anytime I get in a hip hop session, I think um EDM producers are so technically good. Yeah. Usually. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah, dude. They're always just like, holy shit. Yeah. Like this is crazy. So um, I think hip hop, obviously it's, it's so much about the vocal and a, yeah. lot, a lot less about the instrumental. Yep. So it's just not something that people, you know, who are in that world think about like making a really crazy instrumental, but when you do it really tastefully and you get a really sick vocal and a really dope instrumental and you know, yeah. the EDM combo, yeah. I always try and do yeah, that okay. tastefully yeah, as I can. Dude. And then yeah, we call yeah. it trap because, and, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. Tyler, I heard you have some new music. I do. I have a lot of music. I have Let's a couple that I've selected. <laughs> for, 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 yeah. are, they, are, they, are, they, are they trap? Are they trap? Because she's the trap Thank queen. Um, this one is, yeah, it's kind of a hybrid. I think the first okay. first bits. Um, yeah, I don't know. Everything just, I just make stuff. Such a title. You just you make stuff. That's, <laughs> such a, that's such a you answer, just, I feel like. The, <laughs> the second job is definitely not trap. Can you, can it goes you give really a little hard. intro of like, oh, yeah. what's Who, it called? Who's it with? Who's it with? Uh, it's collab with Liquid Stranger. Um, Ooh. one of my favorites. He's been around forever, yep. killing it. And, um, just, yeah, I love all the trippy, like, walk on bass music vibe. Well, dude, it's been coming up. Was it, was it Liquid Stranger who did that, like, yoga or, like, sleep? Like Probably, thing at yes. right. Wait, that was Ella's no, that dream. Ella's dream. Mm, yeah. What? Oh yeah. yeah. yeah the wonky bass has been coming up though. I just we just discovered of the trees. And oh yeah. Wow. So good too. Wow. So cool. Yeah. I showed you. you I showed you Spanish moss on the bonus. The so you cool. just discovered <laughs> on the on the bonus our last bonus episode. Remember I showed. Yeah. I I have a hard time discovering new music. I my I got you. Okay. Well, this is what Tyler's for. He's about to play us a song with Liquid Strangers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank Thanks you, for Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we you actually so we got in touch, and he he kind of wanted to make a song that was more nightmare sounding, okay. like in yeah. that lane. Um, oh, that's cool. Just so this definitely sounds a little more nightmare than Liquid Stranger, but um, I think you like it. You tried everything, give it all, but it didn't give in. Tried a whole lot of times again. But I got you. If it's too loud or too quiet, let me know. You tried Perfect. me out in the dark Thinking you could break the beat of my heart Tell me is that all that you got? I still got you Daniel's gonna listen in tonight. <laughs> Dude, these vocals Amazing. They are so good, right? Oh my god! 
I'm like running in Blade Runner right now. <laughs> I feel like. So good. I love you guys. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> turn that shit up! Yeah, did, turn I that did. shit up! <laughs> I love the chords! Yeah, I was just about to say the, the same thing. So nice good. big piano. Yeah. Always the best. This is like main character moment, like on some yeah, anime like <laughs> arc shit. Leading the charge. It's some dubstep shit. That's in your text? Yeah. What the I, fuck? I need that oh for the gym. Oh my god. What the fuck just happened? I'm sweating. That was so sick. I'm not that a sweaty girl. So good. But now I'm sweating. I'm, I'm so hold on. That was, second. What, what the what fuck was that? that? I actually literally just made that yesterday. No. Did you? I the know. last part. And I was like, I don't know if this is too ridiculous, but I'm glad um, you guys It like, was ridiculously uh, good. Yeah, Thank you very much. I'm gonna be honest with you. You ever just make something randomly? You could just send it over. Hey, like, I don't know if this is gonna be good. Just send it. Just, just send it yeah, over. Just, just send it over. Testers. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know. Like, we'll, you know, we'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yo, I'm out of breath. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. I love you. I'm speechless. <laughs> I am actually speechless. I was, I, really I was not prepared. I was not prepared. Dude, I knew it was gonna be good, but I didn't expect that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, when is that coming out? Please tell me soon. Please. Tell um. Me soon. Yeah, it'll be in the next couple of months. I have. Uh, it's part of an. E it's part of an EP, and the first single has you already what? come out. You heard it here first. So Guys, you heard it here first. Like, Something yes. to look he forward to. Link. He, he has permission to let all of you listen to it. Okay. okay. I, we right. promise. I swear yeah, not to share it. We won't share it on social media. I promise. I just need to sign an NDA. It will stay I'll sign between if you, us. Yes, if you need me to sign an NDA, I'll do it. Just, right. Straight up, if you need if you need us to promote that song, let us know. We have just our own our own socials. Just react to that alone. Like, I'm down. That was I really good, guys. dude. Oh, God. Thank you. Oh, God. Hell yeah. I'm that was... Like it. I feel <laughs> like we need to calm down for just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh, my heart rate is up. <laughs> dude, <laughs> this coffee is not helping. Wait. <laughs> That's going to go so... Have you have you played that out I've yet I've never played it. Yeah, I've never played wow. it. Wow. You dude, heard thank it you for bring, Thank you for yeah. showing us that first. Was, I'm honestly like... crazy. I feel so honored. <laughs> like, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No, that's literally yeah, insane. We're, we're like, we have to like bring our energy back to what it was. <laughs> Slow our heart rate. Yeah. yeah. I gotta breathe. I gotta breathe. Breath breath breath. Breath. I can already see you know, like. Let's, let's do breathing exercises right now. That'd be great. <laughs> I can already see how people are going to be like during that set, you know. Okay. Um, and, okay. and honestly, oh, like. I can't wait to see all their faces when they're just like. <laughs> it's It's got that same, yeah. like, I mean, it, even though, like, what would you say, like, genre that encapsulates the most? Obviously, a little, it's a little bit of a hybrid, like you said. But. Yeah, I mean, it definitely leans a little more dubstep than trap, but I yeah. just felt like the first drop, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I did a similar type of sound design thing for, I did a remix for Sub Focus and Dimension. Uh, okay. Their song, Ready to Fly. Yeah, oh, and, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, um um yeah i don't know just kind of ended up doing the same sort of sound designy like space yeah. and um ended up doing more like 
break beat drums. Yeah. You know, dubstep's mm-hmm. kind of always the boom. Yeah. Which I yeah. appreciate, by the so way. it's a little more hip hoppy drum, trappy drum, yeah. but the sounds are dubstep I guess. Yeah. So yeah. I don't really know. I mean, you've been experimenting <laughs> with a lot lately. I know I know yeah. you've been yeah. doing some DMB too, which I've, I fucking love, yeah. by the way. We, we've been asking everybody this question, but do you feel that DNB is on the rise? Like, I, everyone's, everyone's in, touching it. In, in, in this country, because obviously, like, drum and bass is, like, big in other countries, but for some reason, the U.S. is a little, like, yeah, slow. A little behind, yeah. <laughs> A little yeah. slow. I, you know, I'm a huge drum and bass fan. I feel like every DJ on earth wants drum and bass to yeah. win. Um, yeah. and, but in the US, I mean, I think just, you know how every year or two, every, you know, Five. there's a, a few yeah. songs that just become the song of the year and, you yeah. know, Laser Beam or whatever last yeah. year. And I feel like Badadan's kind of one mm. of those songs. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. feel like it's made it in the US and I've never seen a drum and bass song be like mm. that, get that type of reaction in the US, which is really encouraging. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have another couple. I have a ridiculous drum, two ridiculous drum and bass clubs that I'm really excited about. Hell, but, uh, hell yeah. let's go. Dude, I, I've been, because I, I talk about him all the time, but I love, uh, Nand and I love Fox Stevenson. Yeah. And we oh, really want him Fox. to come to the States. And it makes me so sad that like he's never playing here, yeah. but I love his music. <laughs> I'm sure he will I think eventually. It's, exactly. I was going to say, it's growing, I think. Yeah. And like, I had a couple, I mean, we did uh, for my, I mean, yeah, for, uh, for my back to back tour this year. Oh, yeah. Reaper. We had three sets. Yeah, we had Reaper yeah. for the LA mm-hmm. show, and, and then, then I did one with Net Sky, yeah. and then I did Love with Net Dimension Sky, as well. Um, and they all went over really well. The sets mm-hmm. went over super <sighs> well, yeah. which I was like not super sure how it would go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I don't know. I think I think in the coming years we'll hopefully start to see a few more drum and bass tours. And Hell things yeah, like that. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And Nets guy's here now too, right? He mm-hmm. like he because uh, I remember he moved to L.A. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. show I, when we yeah. met him, we, he was <laughs> like that. he was like yeah, I just moved here in yeah. his like thick British accent. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Dutch, nice and guy. Called, though, Dutch right? accent. Sorry, Dutch. Dutch accent. Yeah, super nice guy. Uh, that's but that's really encouraging because he's or been Belgium. in the scene. I don't even know where he's he, he's been in the scene forever. Yeah, he was one of the first people I listened to when I started listening to. EDM. Mm-hmm. I remember Lotus Symphony, Nets guy, yeah. like long ass time ago. So it's it's encouraging to see that it's like really finding finally starting to establish over yeah. here. Um, finally. Yeah, for <laughs> reals. But switching gears back to your song, um, yeah. I know like in that that super melodic part, right? Um, we kind of had like we, we were kind of wondering because a lot of, you know, a lot of DJs, they like see some funny stuff like in the crowd, yeah. like during their sets, you know. And so um, I know you're a little more on the harder side, yeah. but we, no trap, works. Inten- trap, trap, trap works. Trap works. Side. We wanted trap to works. know if uh, like what's the craziest thing you've seen in the crowd, uh, mainly with like couples uh like if, <laughs> if you've seen you, it like, you're following if like you do if you're see picking like, up what we're putting like, yeah, what, I, mean, what kind of, what, I don't what think i've sh- anybody i don't think i've seen anybody just like straight banging in the crowd <laughs> but <laughs> i've definitely that's seen good. some makeout sessions yeah. and some but, like, like what, proposals what, what songs even. would you say that's cute. like that's proposals. really cute yeah we've got we a few proposals I've uh, EDC one time, yeah. I mean, I didn't see Whoa. it during my set, but uh-huh. I saw the video Why was your after. Face disgusted, <laughs> and I was no, like, I wasn't disgusted. I was just like, Whoa. <laughs> that's amazing. That's yeah, that's, yeah, I mean, it's I amazing. Know. Yeah, um, yeah, pretty next level. And a couple times too, we've had people come up and do proposals yeah. during. Like we did the, um, I think we did one on the our first tour together with me, me, me and Slander did the Good Vibrations tour like six years uh, ago or whatever. Uh, yeah, um, hold up, hold up. <laughs> That was six years ago. No, 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 don't five. Don't. I think. Yeah. Holy it, it fuck! Was, it's just 2018, it's just, right? It's just the it's old 2017. Old. I, I think. feel so old. Oh my god! Oh, don't. Oh Isn't my god! Scary? I remember when you guys. I remember when you guys first started that, <laughs> and it was like, oh my god. Yeah, what a good time that was. Wow. But, yeah. Um, yeah. At the end, they would, we would always play this like eight to ten minute section of just like pure emotional slander bangers. Yeah. And uh, so you definitely slander, slander, slander bangers, slander bangers. Slander so, bangers. And I'm I'm B two B, so that's when they're playing their songs. So all I have to do is watch people make out in the crowd, basically to slander songs. Okay, so that's <laughs> so you would see like. Okay, but what song of yours would you think that people make out most during um, your set? I think. One of my most popular emotional songs is actually one of the first remixes I ever did, um, and it was of this song called Limelight. Um, oh, I, kn- I know. Yeah. The original song is by Just a Gent, and yeah, yep. yeah, I did the remix. I remember of it. that song. One. I think it still has like it's like my second most played song ever. Uh-huh. So, like somehow it's still and um, yeah, just emotional, and it's like I want the limelight with you. Is the yeah. <laughs> 
I remember finding that song in college. Like people like yeah. So um, yeah. it was a super fun remix to do. I love the original song and um, yeah. yeah, I think it's uh, that's definitely one that I feel like is slower. Everyone's mm. hugging each other. Having a <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just having Thank God they're emotions. not banging, honestly. Yeah. Don't bang in the crowd, guys, please. Okay, yeah. well, speaking of banging, like, what do you think that, like, people... <laughs> Speaking what of banging, what a bang transition. <laughs> what, what's I can't, I'm sorry. So, like, which one of your there songs you do you think do that? Bang too yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't keep this I'll give you my EDM bang song. Okay, for, your or seg, not. for your sexy times, right? I have a whole playlist. Ahead, I don't know Tyler. that many people that put Nightmare on. To have sex. <laughs> you know, like, what you if, would think you would pick you, that. You, no. <laughs> okay, what if? <laughs> right, he's gonna turn on this Nightmare you, song you remix. To really like, it's really sick Nightmare that, song. Like, like sometimes, shit, pe sometimes people don't want like you know the soft and delicate. They want like the rough. So I mean, yeah, it I works. That's true. Screaming, we're really going there, you guys. We're yeah. going there. Okay, Valentine's Day is two weeks away. That's true. Think about it. Think about it. Let's be let's be honest with ourselves. If you're mid bang, you're not going to change the song. Yes, yes, it could um, already be played. I, dis I disagree. Okay, what? it depends on the song. <laughs> I'm just I disagree. Devin, 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 you're telling me that like when you're doing it and you don't like the song, you like stop what you're doing and like just go through your playlist um, and then. I no, it's mostly just because my play. I haven't really updated my playlist, so like I think you need there to make are, a like, separate some, playlist. I know, well, I just need to re curate it because there are some like. There are some Drake songs on there that honestly should not be on there. You know there. what? That's fair because I don't. I don't need Hamilton turning on. While no, I'm like, no, no, like, no, 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 no. Seventeen sixty nine. Believe me, it's like it's like you don't think it's that big of a deal until the song changes and you're like, this is not it. This, this is, is not, not the vibe. Not the move. That's not the vibe. Respectfully, I'm like a no song type of girl. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, kind of also, I'm not for a the fact. Person. That the last oh, sometimes shit. though Never mind. you, you kind of need the, you know you kind of need the music and like especially if you're in like a house with other people or yeah. like uh, you're on a trip and there's other people that's, that's the, true that's know, true they can so. put headphones Smart. on why do you need to be the music people they can be the music people and put some headphones that's, on I feel like that's not like very considerate though. I mean I guess <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do yeah, I mean no. yeah well okay I I'm interested to hear all of your guys's what what's your what's your go to um what's your go to song. Your go-to oh, sexy, time ED, sexy time oh, EDM, EDM song. song? Ooh. Ooh. That's actually hard. But Hold I on. Think. I could just say like a genre, but not a song song. No. I have a bunch, but I, I have two main ones that I can think of at the top of my head. Mine is like any old school, old school Troy Boy. Ah, yeah. like oh. that type of trap. <laughs> Troy Boy is really? <laughs> some sexy music. Okay. Yeah, okay. sexy man. That is he's sexy a sexy music. man. Oh, Troy Boy. he's got my some. <laughs> God, bad that behavior. Man. Is the, is the, <laughs> bad behavior is a good one. I would play that yeah. during. Yeah, or my his my boy remix by Billie Eilish. Bro, will get well, me on the ground crawling. That one, that one might make me want to start like tutting, but barking. <laughs> I'm like rough, rough, babe. See, you know what's funny? You say rough, rough, but I imagine you going bork, bork, bark, 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 bark. fucking I'm just, meow. But I'm just thinking like, yeah, up until the drop, you know, and then it gets to the drop, and it's like. Bark, 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 no, try bark, it, Dev. Bark, bark. Dev, try it. I think you just need to try it. All right. Yeah. I mean, report just back. that on repeat. <laughs> I that can't. one song on repeat. I think I'm it's like, just melodic oh. bass for me. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Melodic? Yeah. That's like you're making love. I'm talking about when you're <laughs> fucking. Oh, then it'd be like, yeah. like Yellow Claw, Troy yeah. Boy. Yeah. See, that's what I'm claw. saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Old school yeah. 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 What's yours? I I don't I'm I'm not sure I'm definitely not a listen to music on purpose. Yeah. When mm -hmm. when I'm in bed, like I feel like it's definitely like a, a I'm more of a watch a movie kind of guy. Mm. Okay. okay. See, yeah, the last like, movie like, I watched was the Lizzie McGuire movie. Then we're like banging to <laughs> this is what dreams are made of. That's amazing. And I'm that like, sounds great. And I'm like singing along. <laughs> Tyler, what's yours? <laughs> We're all in this together. That's not even the right movie. <laughs> I know. I switched the I switched the movie. Oh my god! Do you have a Do you have a Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yeah, True Boy is good. I think like uh, I love listening to just in general also, but I feel like it fits the vibe. Um, like anything from Selection. I don't know if uh, you know Soul okay. Action's music, yeah, yeah. but it's kind of like R and B, like Carmack, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Carmack yeah. stuff is in there originally. Ah, that's his stuff's like right more there. heavier in yeah. there. Yeah. But actually, one of my like roommates when I first was out in LA was uh, a homie named Jay Lewis, and he produced a bunch of his stuff. And he ended up oh nice going on to produce um, 
a bunch of the Bryson Tiller album, okay. which oh, is like yeah. also another like great artist, great by the way. artist, mm-hmm. great vibe. It's playing at Rolling Loud. I feel like that's I, a good in yeah. the bed oh, yeah. listening wow. album. Yeah, or like Miguel, old school Miguel. Yeah, Ooh. my so my two uh, songs, specific songs that I can think of, um, and actually, so one of them is Butterscotch by Robotaki. Ooh. And I think okay. Robotaki actually has pretty, he's got some pretty good stuff like for that, to fit that vibe. Mm-hmm. And then the other one is this song called Attica 71 by Oliver the Kid. Mm. And nice. that's like a Deep really cuts. good makeout song. Yeah. Those are just the, <laughs> he knows this. I was like, wow, it's very, <laughs> very, very specific. Very, very specific makeout song. That, well, those are just like my go-to. So if I'm starting up that playlist, it's probably going to be either of those nice. um okay. but i would say in general honestly robo is pretty good choice a lot of okay. a lot of like vibey mm-hmm. robo talkie is dope yeah and guys super talented like super talented producer mm. too but, i don't know why lewis the child just popped in my head i feel mm. like that'd be good music too. some some songs yeah like yeah. <laughs> they've got that one remix yeah wait which of, song they've got that one <laughs> remix of about. you're on yeah. you're on by maddie on which i think they never oh, yeah. released but mm. um i i know back in the day when they when they came out with it uh right when they came out with it i messaged them I'm like hey can i get the download for this and they actually sent it so i have it uh but that's on the playlist as well that's, that's a funny. good one yeah 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 that's funny <laughs> yeah, i know deep cuts man deep cuts <laughs> valentine's day is right around the corner so take notes guys right start making your playlist now, now. so you're ready oh, you yeah. have like two weeks yeah don't put a, don't put every drake song on there uh like me <laughs> because then you'll be uh you know in the middle of it and then elevate will come up and you'll be like this is just not the vibe okay wait but help us build our sexy time playlist leave a leave a song in the comments yes yeah. yes you know, that, i need that's, to that's, know I yeah need to... can can you guys do that i'm terrible at making playlists so like yeah do it, for nand. <laughs> do it for nand <laughs> yeah i don't need to be watching like you know lizzie mcguire and or, hey, it's and, not that bad Fair enough. Uh, high School Musical when I'm having the sexy time. <laughs> also not that bad. Anyways, not that I've been there or anything, but anyways. Kim Possible. Crazy. Kim Possible. I, you know so what? The so hot, the drama. Might be a hot take, might not be. What? Kim Possible, go to show. Dude, I had, Wait. I'm not gonna lie to you, I had a Kim Possible marathon recently. Kim Bro, I have, I have the movies, bro. Wow. I have the movies. Nice. Air, air Kim ducks. Possible date coming up hell like. yeah <laughs> no, dude great show great show yeah. she go bad as fuck dude she goes bad bad as fuck mm-hmm. bad, <laughs> the, the, I, I'm, what bro. do you call it uh, new year's day i actually watched and um i can't remember the name of the episodes but it's the, it's the three-parter four-parter episode where they go back in time go to the future yep. Not, yep. Uh, yeah, i was just like i, just, I need it i yep. need to see this episode yep. right now uh-huh. i remember <clears throat> it was great yeah i'll never forget the episode where kim kim kissed ron Oh my god! That was the movie. <laughs> yeah, it was in the movie, but it was also Iconic. in an episode. It, okay, that was season four, it, it, episode one. When wow, Ron you woke remember? Up. I, don't know. I just said I had a marathon, and yes, I do remember. But at the end of the episode, he literally calls Kim, waking waking her up, like, "Wait, so we kissed, right? But yes, that movie. wasn't it. That wasn't a dream, Ron. We we did kiss. We no, are dating. But there's an episode <laughs> where um, someone puts like a love. Thing on her and then that she doesn't uh, count uh, anyways sorry. anyways <laughs> what, what were you <laughs> well valentine's day do you have any valentine's plans day. oh yeah. yes oh, yeah. i nothing super well i'm gonna be in london i'm gonna okay. be my girlfriend yay don't go uh, in the telephone booths. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> don't go in. <enough. laughs> Why? <laughs> because remember his. You story? sound traumatized by that. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. Oh, that one story. time I've been to London. First thing we did. Oh, cool! The telephone booths that we always see like on TV. Shit. Went in there. I'm like. Why does it smell like that? <laughs> Look over to the There's side. There is a... shit just stained all <laughs> over. Ew, Human stop, shit. Stop. Ew, all over ew, the inside. Oh, I'm God. like, cool. Welcome to London. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> well, if I take a photo, I'll stay outside. <laughs> Can't make sure. Send but, it to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm actually going to be in London slash Europe for like six weeks. Wow. Six. wow. I'm doing a festival out there called Rampage, which I've wanted to do for a really okay. long time. It's kind of like the biggest, best first, bass first time music. Playing it? Mm-hmm. Wow. Congrats. Um, for Europe, so I'm really excited. Let's go. It's kind of the last Dreamverse album show, too. Mm-hmm. They like uh-huh. specifically wanted me to come do that show. So got the whole crew coming out doing that. I got two other uh, just fun gigs while I'm out there. 
And then, um, yeah, just my, fortunately my girlfriend works remote. So we're both going to just go nice. work in London Hell for a yeah. bit. Yeah. I have some studio space out there reserved and just, yeah, I kind of got more work studio time planned uh, for the next couple of months. So I don't know exactly what we're doing yet, but I'm just going to do something London-y. Have you had the opportunity Stop. to like travel a lot? Cause like, obviously someone of your caliber, you like, you know, you've, you've yeah. done a lot, gone a lot. Have you been able to travel for pleasure like a lot i you know i um i do a bit i it always kind of depends on the schedule mm -hmm. because i don't you know obviously with the shows and everything it's kind of hard to to coordinate but there's a lot of times where i'm playing in wherever somewhere in china or something on a friday and i don't have a show until the next friday and so i'll stay three extra days there nice. yeah you know happen to be um, I do a lot of those where I'm like, go. I'll go a day or two days early if it's a city I've never been to or stay an extra day or two behind. And um, yeah, just kind of uh, depends a bit. But I've been probably, I mean, it's it, when I think back on it, it's kind of ridiculous. I tried to count the other day. I think I've done like 30 something countries, show, shows in 30. <laughs> wow. Like, like not even like just traveling there, but um, yeah, I've done a bunch. And Man is busy. Last two years, I actually did, <laughs> I did a whole TV show about about oh. that with um oh, what uh, and i was executive producing i was part of the team like executive producing it with my brother and another friend oh, of mine whoa. Wait, and where, where can we it's watch on this? paramount plus actually what is it called it's called, 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 called sampled pat like s-a-m-p-l-e-d sample go check it out that's really um, cool i have paramount so i'm gonna pull it up right now so yeah each episode is a different <laughs> artist like in a different city in a city that they've never been to before yeah and you know, so a tiny bit of the episode is cool. Here's the show. And then the majority of the episode is, okay, here's the local host or person who's from that city. Got it. Showing them around, showing them all the cool things to do. Exactly. Yeah. So you can see we had, Mar you know, Mark Rebier. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he did, it. He yeah, did yeah. our first episode. Tanache did an episode. You can oh. see my episodes right there. Number five, I did one of the episodes Let's as well. Go. Can you so, screenshot that and put it in the group chat? Gotcha. Yeah, nice. you guys, it, it was good. super fun. We had Boz, amazing rapper as well, do one of our episodes. Damn. And, um, and yeah, it was a really, really fun process. But we were really just, I, you know, I spent three, four years doing that exact like touring experience. And I was like, there's so many times where I would do something where there's just no chance I would have ever done, had that experience if I mm -hmm. wasn't there as an artist. Yeah. Like yeah. I went to Chile, South America, wow. played Lollapalooza, and then I had a week off and I went down to like Valparaiso, this amazing beach art town, and just Love got that. to do all this crazy, amazing stuff. And I would have never gone there on my own. So um, that was kind of the idea for the show. And then we basically kind of curated that for six artists who were already going to places they had never been. And yeah. yeah do them a bunch of stuff and that's so sick it was really fun wow. it's really wow. sick i like that i, I like yeah, that i would have never known that's I'd, so sick Sample. i like the i like the whole process <laughs> of that too i mean um devin and i are in the film industry outside of all of this so like hearing you talk about like running a whole show executive producing you, oh yeah i mean i'm I, just like it's, it's getting my gears, gears going <laughs> yeah it's getting my gears turning about mind. like my yeah. own yeah. shows and like things that i want to like produce 100 yeah. percent. i mean yeah we uh we it was a like five years from the day that we filmed the teaser to when it came out oh my god so it, was oh, it takes long time, time. Oh my god. it takes a long time you know i ended up just it was in 2017 i did edc japan and so i uh, my brother works in tv as well he does like tv mm. oh, nice. he's a producer for like a lot of tv commercials and stuff Sick. Sick. so me him and my one of my creative partners james winterhalter all i like paid to fly everyone out to japan we filmed like kind of this temporary episode type thing and then we went through the process of like finding a production company who yeah. had already made tv shows and sold tv shows who wanted to partner with us on it and then we got an agency an unscripted tv agent and we pitched it to all these things oh, and the yeah. pre-production like, process it took forever yeah. and then so, eventually and why is it getting me excited thinking yeah. about all that stuff because we're it was fun geeks. process yeah i mean yeah. it was it was super cool we learned so much and um yeah we got like an, we didn't get didn't get a season two sadly Aww. but um season were, one like, is already like yeah, a, that's they were, yeah. yeah the fact that it got made is honestly so like, if, everyone you, was really great if you weren't a dj people. would you work in the film industry i don't know if i would necessarily i think you know my my executive producer like credits on this like there you know there's f four or five executive producers yeah um and a director and you know other producers there's a million people on the team but my role was essentially um paying originally yeah, for funding. the initial mm -hmm. yeah. the initial like teaser that we wanted to make so we yeah. could go to big places and get, can we get a bigger budget to make this yeah and then also um 
going into those pitch meetings, like I obviously since I knew all these random industry yeah. artists mm. and stuff like that, I reached out to every single like I reached out to Shaq and the Chainsmokers and ASAP Ferg and yeah. all those people who I've worked with and was like, hey, would you mind? I'm going to be pitching this TV show if I add your name into this as like someone who might potentially want to do the show and you mm. totally don't have to commit to anything, but I just want to be able to do that. Yeah. And so <laughs> Makes I sense. helped getting our pitch deck like and a just making it more appealing. Yeah. And I know I ended up connecting us with the agent we ended up using who booked all the talent for everything. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. I did a little bit more, a little less in the actual like producing of the movie and, mm -hmm. or, you know, of the show and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was super fun process. And yeah. I feel like I, I don't know. I mean, I, I love TV, but I was like, damn, this is so... It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's I was lot. like, I think I'm going to stick with music or cooking. I feel like I'd be a okay. chef. That's right. Would you open up Otherwise. your own restaurant? Would I? That's another one where I'm like, oh, I'd love to open my own restaurant. And then everyone who I speak to who's opened a restaurant is like, don't open a restaurant. <laughs> didn't, didn't it's so Shaq, much work. Didn't Shaq just open up a restaurant? I think he had... I mean, he's got... He's, a bunch yeah. of stuff. I think he's yeah. got a bunch of restaurants. To um, be fair, he could like hire a was whole he team one of, those of people. Exactly. That's yeah. what I was you? about to say. He's got the restaurant team who handles all that. Yeah, uh, I've I've actually had. It was in an airport. I had yeah. uh, like the chick. He has a chicken spot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it good? Oh yeah. Is it good? No comment. I want to say yes. Oh, no comment. No comment. Oh. I want to say yes. Wait. Oh. Were you in that airport? Uh, we were from Kansas City. Yes. Airport yes. food is never really a true representation yeah. of what yeah. you're eating. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't bad. I'm but willing I mean, to I try it. it again. Yes. yes. That's, that's yeah. Good. I, I, I will say, I know a lot. Uh, LA is like a hot spot for a lot of the big, uh, like, content creators that are like at a good point in their career mm -hmm. all start up a restaurant you know right. you've got freaking yeah. adam yeah. w's pizza place you know okay, on is like mediterranean food if spot. it's not a food like, place it's like a, a an alcohol thing yeah, yeah. yeah. or like something. an energy David drink Dobrix, yeah. doesn't he have uh, yeah. Dobrix. Dobrix. Yeah, yeah Dobrix yeah which is actually pretty good yeah. not yeah. gonna lie no, and yeah. been, I've been to Anwar's um, freaking Mediterranean food place and it's good okay it's like good food okay stop yeah. you're making me hungry stop I mean, <laughs> to, to be fair stop. the plan for me at some point is to open up a coffee shop Ooh, nice. you know so that's just something I want to do I don't really it's not like oh my god I need to be the best in the world it's just it's just something I want to do yeah yeah it is nice cute hmm Nightmares. Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Nightmares. 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 It would be like some bougie, bougie oh. cooking. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm all about the the, the like gourmet, insane food just, experience. Just the term nightmare that. food. It kind of sounds yeah. intriguing. That kind of <laughs> like <nightmare. laughs> what night? Well, like, what food from nightmares are we I talking about? I can picture about? being like a Barton G's type thing where things are like very literal. Okay. It's like electric ah. salmon and it comes oh. out with like an electric guitar. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like See, they I, found if some you have seen like, a Barton G's, I don't know why, Tyler. but I expected I like not. an electric okay. eel, like like <laughs> the water still. You, you gotta just to put go. your hand in there and like <laughs> okay, I don't think we need to harm the customers. <laughs> but it's, it's part of the experience. Yeah, just kidding. Sure. <laughs> just imagine a whole, you know, kitchen and with him in charge. Like, yes, chef. Yeah. <laughs> I can, I'm into that. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, to rewind on, because um, you you mentioned um, your girlfriend, who mm -hmm. uh, you've been. I mean, how long have you been how with long? her for? Uh, we officially only for about eight months now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So not that like fairly new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations Thanks. on that. Yeah. Um. Then I mean, well, we were gonna ask like, <laughs> we were gonna be like, so uh, when's I, maybe I can, a little can, nightmare? But now we're not gonna. I can, uh, I can, yeah. I can twist that <laughs> twist that question. Do you want? Yeah. Do you want? Do you want to be yeah, nightmare? Yeah. Definitely. I think. I mean, yeah. We've already talked about it okay. a little bit, but yeah. yeah. Not. I mean, not immediately, but oh, yeah, eventually, for sure. eventually for sure. Um. Actually, at eight months, that kind of makes sense. You want to have that conversation at some point. It's like, is this in your future? Our age years. for sure. Yeah, like yeah, we want to have those conversations earlier so that you know we at least know we're on the same page. Yeah, right. and, yeah, we're definitely both on the same page. But uh, I think we both also have a bit of like, yeah, we just both love traveling and seeing. You know, we kind of want to get get yeah, a few more yeah. years of that yeah. under our belt. And you're in the industry to do it. Yeah, so. yeah <laughs> honestly, does she go with you to like all your shows? Since she does work from home. Yeah, it just depends. Not too much stuff but mm. she, the fun stuff you oh. know i mean i it's like we did a weekend in boston because i had the boston show mm -hmm. and then we had some time off and um, we did the new year's eve run that was really fun um but yeah you know sometimes it's like a 
you know, I'm going to Idaho on a Thursday and she has work Friday or, you know, yeah. she just stays mm. home for those for sure. But <laughs> yeah. um, she's going to miss Idaho. I know. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Places. I Idaho. Idaho's low key. Awesome. So don't hate is it? <laughs> no, no, that's the, that's, is it just, like, is it just it was, like fields of like fun. corn or something? Or is that so, that's, that's the joke we always make on here about like, there's nothing in Idaho yet. <laughs> every single, not every, but a lot of the artists we've had on have been there, had been there. Yeah. They're playing a big show and we still make fun of the is fact the, that there's there nothing there. But is there clearly like a, there is a, a, say, a big like EDM school. fan base there. I think or there's it... a Boise has a university, so I think that mm. brings in regular uh, events. Uh-huh. Um, I've definitely done a pretty. There's a venue that I think it's maybe a thousand eleven hundred that we I've done a few times there. It's pretty fun. Mm. Um, yeah, oh, Idaho's not bad. I think there's a big Greek life there too. Because yeah. I'm remembering like oh, a lot of like the international yeah. internationals or like na- na- nationals like yeah. where all the Idaho. So a lot of the so my my fraternity the nationals event always happened in Boise, Idaho. So I could imagine maybe that happened to others, you huh. know, Probably. other yeah. you know fraternities, sororities, what have you, where they would have their nationals event at you know at um uh Boise, Idaho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely, I think part of the reason why we, I do make it out to some like Missoula I've mm-hmm. played in Missoula that was definitely a college oh. college town there and stuff like that yeah still have never made it to the Dakotas either mm-hmm. one the Dakotas, oh, the Dakotas. Boring. my dad was in the Air Force Wyoming? and he was stationed. Wyoming I always forget that Wyoming's in the state my dad was stationed in South Dakota for a while and he said he said actually like the town life there is pretty cool but yeah everyone knows each other it's yeah. like small I don't populations know if I want- oh my gosh we did a road trip like all the way up to Canada and back around, it was so fucking boring. Ooh. Sorry, no <laughs> offense to anybody out there. I'm I've born and raised in LA. I so. just learned of like snowboarding, like like snowboarding festival, like snowboarding, like music festivals. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So right now yeah. I'm just imagining you on top mm. of a mountain. Everyone's like snowboarding, passing around you, and you're just like. He's got his gear and he's just like up on the top of the hill, just spinning, oh, and they got like big ass speakers on the way down. Yeah. That'd be so sick. That oh. would be nice. So I just like to ask everybody this question. Um, what 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 is like the thing that you like to look at when you're at festivals? Like I'm all about the festival experience. I like to look around. Like Devin knows, I'm very aware. I I'm not looking at the stage all that much. I'm looking around at people, their outfits. Like I know I know Jan looks at people's outfits all the time because mm-hmm. she's like, I mean, she's fashion, fashion, like high tier fashion. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Yes, that's a compliment. Thank anyway, you. <laughs> um, what do you guys look at? You know, like like where do you, what attracts your eyes when you're at a festival? I think I just stare at my friends because I can't see for shit. So like when I try to see the visuals, <laughs> I, I do it. I just see people's heads. That's all. That's all I see. Is so, it because yeah. you're short? It's yes, short I'm, I'm short. Mm. Yeah. So you know I, what, just, Mickey, I just look at my friends. I get you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. That was you. Short kings unite. We're not all Tyler. <laughs> no. I'm conscious. I stand at the back. I don't stand in front. Wow. Of people. Yeah. 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 Well, king. actually, uh, good. a good good suggestion if you do stand in front of people is like this LED hydro bag. If Dude, you're wearing if, it, if I awesome. had if I had that right in front of me, I wouldn't mind if I can't see the stage. I'll just be staring. <laughs> yeah. I was just that, gonna. That's, honestly, my, that's yeah. my visual. I was just gonna say, like, you know, when you're in like that state of mind, we all know which state of mind we're talking about here. Um, you like to see stuff that <laughs> the is empire state has of a mind. lot. Empire, empire state, state of, of that's you know what that's what I that's, meant. That's what it is. Uh, we like to you know look at lights. Oh, she's heavy. Hold on, she's heavy. I need two hands for this. <laughs> we like to look at lights and um, a lot of t- you know the visuals. That's why visuals have like gotten so mm-hmm. good during these sets, right? Mm. But uh, I know for me personally, you know, that's why like light shows are such they're still like so rare yeah i feel like because i know for a while they weren't even letting them they probably still aren't letting them mm-hmm. into festivals but you know people still figure out a way to get them in oh gloves and yeah, yeah gloves oh yeah and but you like to sneak that shit in yeah and so really? it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah dude why bro they will take it away to my understanding shit. anything that could be potentially connected to uh you know drug paraphernalia yeah. or usage they're gonna just be yeah, like, you can't just, bring it in. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but now, fair enough. You can get a light show on your backpack, on your hydro bag. That so, thing is sick. Yeah, I. Uh, that one is mine over there. It's got over fifty. You can tell it's Devin's. Anime gifts <laughs> yeah. preloaded onto it. it's playing My Hero Academia scenes right now. <laughs> nice. But um, the bag has everything. It's waterproof. It's got reflective. There's patches. an anti-theft <sighs> pocket. Yep. Yep. Oh. It's, pre- it's pretty beefy. We've like. 
it's like beefy. It. It's beefy in the sense that oh. like it's nice and thick. Like yeah. it's gonna like oh she yeah. thick anti anti yeah, she heavy nice. she yeah. heavy thick she lifts. Yeah, it is on the bigger side. I will say so. Like for my ladies out there, uh, just be conscientious about that. But um, I Dude, mean, it's, easy answer. You give it to the guy in your group and you make go. them wear it because that's what's gonna happen <laughs> anyway that's what usually the, happens yeah for all the girlfriends out there just tell the it guy to preload ruin, yo it like it can't ruin my outfit so someone else has to hold it i'm sorry yeah and then just <laughs> have them like program have them program like all the you know um gossip girl like gif scenes on there yeah i would girls, put like gifs. rupaul's drag race Ooh, okay or, or like memes <gasps> yeah memes would be so fun could you but, imagine like putting a whole movie on there though <laughs> oh my god would what it. would your movie be the i go first oh. cheetah girls number two only the one that we're when they go to spain <laughs> inception yeah Ooh. okay, okay. Wow. that okay. way wow people tripping would be like yeah yep. <laughs> yep yeah yeah good one interstellar yeah oh okay. my god good one yes what wow. would you put i don't know if i could go that intense i might just put like pineapple express on <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, see, Darian make the set. That would be really funny to oh see. Oh my god, actually. white chicks! That. Imagine white oh, chicks. Dude, there. Really so funny. The, the, the dance scene. It yes. has to be the dance yeah. scene. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or so the, wait, y'all just gave me flashbacks, like white, <laughs> like the movie White Chicks, yeah. where they're like, oh god. It's... Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bless you. Oh, because <laughs> uh, white chicks came out during a time period where I hadn't started raving yet. So that scene where where Terry Crews is like yeah. going off, oh. I thought that's what raves were like. <laughs> I thought that's bro. what raves were like. He said, "Bro, that movie came out when I was not in teenage years yet." Yeah. I think so. <laughs> basically, what Nand is saying is he wants to see you guys put white chicks on your LED hydras. Mm-hmm. By the way, this is from EDM Finesse, um, and shout out to EDM Finesse. By the way, definitely go check them out. Uh, you can use code I'm Peaking to save some money mm-hmm. off of off of your purchase of one uh, but these things really are sick and they honestly got everything you guys need and if in case it ha- wasn't obvious already it it is a hydration bag it's yes. called hydra so it yes. is a hi- hydration bag there like, is you know, a hydration pouch i know we're like mentioning the, Sorry, the whole like time, video and how every cool time i think of hydra i think of captain america so um, <laughs> greek mythology yeah <laughs> <laughs> So Captain America also you can put on your... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just we, mentioned it. Yeah, we just mentioned that. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Okay, cool. Well, anyways, back to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey. Oh, sorry. Wait, what was the last thing we were talking about? Um, well, we were talking about Valentine's Day stuff. <laughs> and like but family also, and stuff. Yeah. Um, speaking of like family and like growing up, honestly, like people around my best friend just had a baby most beautiful baby girl ever um but just like thinking about it because you know like like last year we were all just getting drunk and you know living life and now she has a kid and it's fucking crazy because sometimes i feel like i'm not even an adult and my mind i still feel like i'm 16 like i'm doing all the adult things you know i'm paying my bills and getting money all that stuff but like i still feel like a child when do you when's like when do you ever feel like an adult like when when do you actually feel it like, i don't know do if you that feel ever it? is gonna happen yeah first. i was about to say like, yeah, like, like I'm, I'm 30 now well close to 30 and like the same question i always ask is like at what point do i start to feel like an adult like like yeah because you're you're younger it, than me do, yeah does it does it exist how old are you i forget 25 25 see are people like proposing and getting married yes you're at that age where everyone around you is My trying to get God. like married. Dude, oh, yeah. even people younger than me, people mm-hmm. younger than oh, me yeah. that I've known since like I was a kid, like I see it in social media, I'm like, oh, you're married. Yeah. 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 Well, I know Nan was saying, you know, me, me, Nan, and Tyler in here, we're at the age where like everyone's having people kids. Our friends are having they multiple kids. Yeah, they got oh, married yeah. already. They're having <laughs> they're, kids. They're having, yeah. no, no, they're having second their second kid. kid. Yeah. Yeah. Or they're Ooh. buying a house. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, in this it. economy. No, stop it. In this economy. I don't think a house is possible in this guy dude i'm see, trying like, to explain like, that to my parents and they just don't it's get it it's not possible or i'm not gonna say it's not possible but it's very difficult if you start looking now i feel like all the people oh, yeah. who are like getting a house now or have kids married it's because they started when they were like you know 18 yeah, like they were sure. already doing this years ago because their plan was a little bit different and i feel like with what we do in the the music industry and everything i feel like we are still in a very like younger energy younger <laughs> mentality yeah I feel yeah. that. I feel like that's part of the reason why we 
chose this path. Yeah, yeah right. Hundred <laughs> percent. Is it because like we could never mentally grow up? <laughs> nah, no, no, no. I think it's because uh, music. This, this is my opinion. This, and I have a strong opinion about this. Actually, music is energy. That's just what it is. Yeah. And the more energy you have in your life, the younger you stay. So in in theory, music keeps you young. You keep going yeah. to festivals. You keep going to these because it feels like a energy. playground. That is, you know what? Yeah. That is really interesting because I will say, like, just an observation as a kid growing up. You know, I feel like adults, at least when I was growing up, my perception of the adults I was constantly around, my parents, the only outlet of music they would get is like from the radio or at just listening at mm. home. They wouldn't really go to concerts or anything like yeah, that. that was not a thing. And so that's why, like, you know, now when we're, we're at, you know, I took my dad to day trip and I'm this year I'm planning to take my mom to a festival, um, like figuring out which one that will be. But it's so interesting to see their reaction, right? Because, like, they're, they're like so out of their comfort zone, but it's almost like seeing that giddiness inside of them, right? Oh, it's yeah. just bringing them back to their seeing like, your, Seeing your dad wow. uh, uh, geek out to Nora and Pure. Yeah. <laughs> dude, he was so, <laughs> so happy. Yeah, dude. This is like, how old's your dad? He is 65. Seeing a 65 year old man pull out his phone. Wait, no, yeah. he's 16. Sorry, he's 68. 68 oh, year old oh man God. pulling out his phone to Nora and Pure. Like, did he that have a kind of sign? He did. That's oh, wow. so cute. It was so cute. He was so embarrassed. Randy, he, he right? Ac- yeah, he accidentally Randy. put an H at the end of Nora. So I, <laughs> when I took a picture of them on the sign, he asked me to Photoshop the H oh out. So I did, God. and then he put the picture on a mug. Oh. And now it's his favorite mug. Oh, that is, that's God. really cute. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, my God. I will cry. Randy. I will put it on screen. It's, it's the cutest so cute. thing. Randy, honestly, you like, are adorable. <laughs> it really is kind of the best thing ever when you see an adult in the crowd sometimes. Do you yeah. bring your parents to your set? <laughs> They've been to, definitely have been to their fair share of nightmare shows. Not a ton, but yeah, I'd say one or two a do year. Do they headbang with you? Uh, they do. Yes. I love that. <laughs> kind of. I, I don't know. That. We had to teach them, you know, but yeah, they, they love it. They're all about it though. Um, I feel like once you experience that, it's just like, that feeling is is yeah. hard to it's hard to match yeah you know? it's in your every day um and, and it's, it's kind of funny because you know like you said that's kind of like the career path we've chosen yeah right mm-hmm. so we kind of have to like embody these like, i don't mind it you know yeah. like the youth yeah so i mean to answer, <laughs> forever young bro to like kind of circle it back and answer your earlier question of like at what point do we start feeling like an adult i think it's it's hard to say because well we've chosen to be in a career path that we are constantly surrounded by like energy and mm-hmm. feeling young and having fun. Not to say being an adult isn't fun. It's just we've chosen a very specific route where it's like energy all the time. Yeah. Like like you were mentioning your parents and how they they didn't have like me, that many music outlets or and my parents were the same way. They I didn't have a, yours didn't even listen to music. Oh right? yeah, my parents didn't listen to music at all. Like my dad had the Thai news on constantly, Crazy. Um, maybe meditations and like chants, yeah. occasional Thai music, but it was like, oh yeah, I like this song. Not I'm listening to music as a mm-hmm. pastime. Searching yeah. for new music. Yes, and stuff. Yeah. exactly. Exactly. So like their focus, and I think that's what aged them faster in, in a way, like they, they, they just grew. I don't, I don't know how to put it. Like this is just a, like, this is my perception. This is my observation of things. Like yeah. when you don't surround yourself with energy and being active, you you get older yeah. yeah granted i will say nowadays i feel like it's a lot easier to come across new music because of the accessibility oh my yes. god i was gonna yeah. say like i i just had a thought uh, that i forgot to mention earlier when we were talking about like tiktok and like the new age also why like festivals are at an all-time high right now i think a lot of that can be attributed just to the fact that tiktok and social media it's has so made accessible. it so accessible for people to get insight on this scene specifically yeah. and to hear new music yeah. um which they didn't have back then you know that wasn't really a, a thing and now you can just find it like that yeah mm-hmm. even so. making music like when i was first starting it was not easy to find like sample packs and acapellas and pieces to make music and yeah you know there was a few programs but now i mean yeah you can it's if as long as you yeah. have any form of laptop you can pretty much download Crazy. everything you need within an hour and make a song it's just the tools are really accessible for people so i think there's yeah. a lot more people making music which is nice oh yeah you know. there's a lot of like tiktok sounds that are just like go viral because people just make it and like tiktok yeah. meme sounds it's a huge thing yeah, you, yeah this kind of gives me a thought too like it's kind of like an interesting phenomenon like because of the level of access to music and all of this that we can we have now Maybe that's why we don't feel old. Maybe that's why we feel so young. That's true. Like, uh, you know, 30 years ago, 50 years ago, they yeah. didn't have all of this, whereas we do. 
Yeah, hundred percent. Um, and and it's just it's it's so crazy because like uh you know we were talking about like the Gen Z thing earlier. You know, um, it I feel like that translates over to you know these stages in our life happening earlier which could maybe explain why we feel like we are not adulting this far in the game you know oh, yeah, i yeah. feel like, like it's also even harder to adult now since everything is just like so expensive yeah. like 100 yeah. percent. i mean we are pretty much in the middle of a recession right now oh though, my you know? god so it's like <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna buy a house in this economy yeah, bro like, <laughs> you, we have to work like twice as hard as like the previous generations just, in order to get those things you know I just remembered this story. Uh, I was in this community service club called Rotaract. Older version is Rotary. So they're, you know, they're all in their 40s and they have yeah. houses, money, all that. He would tell me, yeah, as soon as you graduate college, just go work on a boat in Alaska and do the, this fishing thing. Oh, that sounds chill. And then I was, and he was like, <laughs> he, was like no, no. he was like, and then I was able to pay off all of college, buy a house with six months of income. I'm like, Huh? What? Six months. Six months? <laughs> what? Now, don't get me wrong. From what I understand, being on those boats is really, really fucking dangerous. Mm -hmm. So the income yeah. is pretty oh, so high. They, uh, but gotcha, also, gotcha. like, at the same time, it's like... Yeah. What? The difference yeah. between... I mean, it is definitely true. The median like home price versus median salary. Like, home price is way up. It yeah. salary is not, not that much up. You can't. Yeah. You can't. And uh, you know what is even crazier in that is um, like bringing it back to the, the the fact that like the festivals are at an all time high right now. People, even in this recession, people are still like you know putting their money towards oh, yeah. going to these like festivals and stuff, even though like money is honestly hard to come by right now. You know, which is just a crazy thing to me. Like the priorities are so different than yeah. the, how they used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like people these days really appreciate the experience rather than yeah stuff yeah. Yeah. a little bit more mm -hmm. nowadays i mean i don't know obviously there's still a I, lot of materialism and stuff like that but i mean for me as the years go on every year i'm like i don't want any more stuff for christmas just get me like yeah. something cool to do yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me a trip to Bali. people are much more willing <laughs> yeah. To, yeah much more willing to spend money on a cool experience going to a festival Core doing memories. something with their friends yeah exactly yeah. rather yeah. than just I, like cool let me buy these vision yeah. Yeah. goggles yeah, yeah. For like everything everything's more and more about just the experience like i always i always think about this uh i had a core memory definitely happen at um this past new year's mm -hmm. at decadence um mm -hmm. i was uh i was in the crowd and i was like you know i was feeling a little anxious because i had a bunch of work to do and um just a lot to do and then it just finally clicked that i'm standing in a crowd of like 30 of my friends yeah all around i'm like you know what? I can just I'm gonna take to take take this stress and anxiety and yeah. let it go because everywhere I looked was another friend. I, I have never had an experience where everywhere I looked was somebody I knew. Nice. I don't even remember. I belting out a slander song. Oh, no, it, dude, it was us. like it was like BTSM, then slander, then yeah. um, uh, uh, Elenium, and it was great. I, c I can't tell you what they played. Yeah. I couldn't tell. I just could tell you I was bawling the whole time. And yeah. I'm so <laughs> unsure why. And yeah. you tried your first oh, IPA. Dude, I was crying the whole time, <laughs> drunk out of my mind. And I'm like literally like sitting there or standing there in somebody's arms. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why the fuck am I crying? You were just in the field. <laughs> no, yeah. I, have dude, no I, I idea. remember her, her exact words like, oh, not again. I can't keep doing this. I'm done. <laughs> no, Y'all kept shoving cameras in my face. And I'm like, yo, this is not the time. Yeah, Ryan <laughs> recording you drinking your first IPA in Bro. your face, but then you were just, then the song and started the song, playing yeah. and you were like, yeah. No, if you look really carefully in that video, I pick my wedgie <laughs> as I'm jumping up and down. Noted. Yeah, watch Noted. it back, watch it back. <laughs> Play the clip. <laughs> I'm so blasted, dude. Oh, wow. Do you, do so you go fun. and experience the festival? Uh, I definitely do. It, it, yeah, I pick and choose sometimes, you know, like I said, with the schedule, it can, sometimes I just have to be in and out really quick yeah. um, if we have crazy travel, but I definitely love to when I can. I really love when I get to do something like Lollapalooza or yeah. Bonnaroo or something where... That Bonnaroo lineup that just dropped. Oh yeah. my God. Oof. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But I, I just love those because then when I go out after my set, it's usually, I mean... Love excision, love slander, love all my homies, but I've seen a bajillion yeah, of their sets. Yeah, yeah. Um, just going to festivals every weekend, you know? So it's really nice when I can walk out yep. and, you know, I've seen like the killers headlining yeah. a stage. Yeah. Do you it's go like, holy incognito shit, like, such or do you just go? Not usually. I mean, if it's maybe if it was like EDC or something, oh. I put oh, a yeah, hood up for or sure. somewhere where I feel like people would recognize me a little bit more. But um, most festivals, I just send it yeah. out there. Yeah. And, and nice. you know, I never really 
I don't know. I feel like I'm in a good place where if someone yeah. recognizes me, they always will come up and be like, hey, what's up? Can yeah. I take yeah. a picture? Respectful. Love music. And I'm Respectful. like, cool. Sounds That's good. good. It's never like getting mobbed or anything yeah yeah because I, I would say like uh you know at an edm festival that's definitely that would definitely be a oh, thing yeah. but if you were like yeah. to go to something like you know rolling loud or yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you know sometimes like, yeah the edm one too just it'll be like one person and then they'll be like all right let's can we take a super quick picture and then they'll start taking it and the flash and doesn't else. work yeah. and oh then yeah they're like oh, trying yeah. to figure it out yeah. and then they like get their their friend come over and then someone's like oh shit that's nightmare and then and 10 more people turn around and I'm like oh is. no <laughs> and then like 15 more people line up for photos I'm like oh shit yeah. Yeah. damn it I love you all, but yeah. I'm just trying to watch this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you're no, like a rolling... I love that stuff. I mean, anytime someone ever says hi or takes a picture, any little thing like that, I yeah. appreciate it so much. It's like I spend so much time on planes and on stage and just not getting to be out there with the people who are actually experiencing it. So when I do hear about those positive experiences, like definitely helps inspire me to just do it more 100%. you know what i mean i feel like uh coachella is like a really good festival yeah. oh yeah that'd that. be perfect because i know you yeah. played i know you played multiple times at coachella before. yeah i did like and i did i just this last year i did kind of last minute like super last minute yeah. i played at the heineken house thing um yeah. but pretty yeah oh, but I was right there. before covid oh really that was, I was super there, fun and set. i was so drunk <laughs> and i was walking past Describing and i go yo you. what is this and someone was like oh my god it's a nightmare but they were at full capacity oh, they wouldn't yeah. let me in i know i felt pretty Damn. bad about that oh. i didn't even realize it was such strict capacity and i went i walked out after my set and there was still so many people waiting to get in oh, i was like yeah. oh, that's Sorry. really cool though. oh my Damn. god wow but that yeah. was yeah that was i've really seen you at the yuma at the yuma tent I've, or is, is the, the yuma uh, right? oh no sahara tent sorry yeah sahara, tent, sahara yeah. tent sorry that was yeah, yeah. exactly the the last right before covid 2019 i mean yeah. not right before Oof. but the last coachella before covid i guess um but yeah i was that was super fun too that was so stressful that was probably the most <laughs> stressful two weekends of my life because i played the last set so i was oh, the last set i remember that on the stage on I sunday night that. and so i was just always so stressed and then i would do yeah I, the first weekend i finished and i was like sick i'm done and then it was no, like not. now the festival's over and everyone has to go home i was like damn <laughs> i, I tried walking around the floor there was just like stressing i was tripping on acid when i was <laughs> hey hey set. hey three workouts three sorry special yeah. guests each one i think Psycho i have like for like, and little john and like psychedelic just, psychedelic pre-workout, pre-workout? yeah what? sorry pre-workouts are code word for, yeah. for uh, the show yeah. <laughs> yeah. i was on psychedelic pre-workout nice yeah. i was not i, was just, <laughs> <laughs> I wish i was <laughs> yeah I was, we're going again this year yeah oh, so. i'd like to yeah one day i, at least. I already have my ticket i, I want to go she one prepared. day yeah. if i if i can afford it i would love to go because we have cabo the other weekend so uh, we're going to cabo. yeah but, what's in cabo uh, one of our friends is getting um, our friends is getting married. Oh, cool. um, yeah, nice. so we're we're going out there to. Them. Oh nice. yeah, you know them. Sidewalk talk. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gina and mm-hmm. uh, Keenan, Code Pink. Yeah, nice. They get married. Amazing. What's Congrats your you um, favorite multi-genre festival? My favorite. As an attendee, like um, one that you've attended. Oh, man, that's tough. I, I honestly have so not much. been to that many that I've not that I wasn't. No, I mean like playing it, but, but you've just going also experienced. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, um, I think, I think it might be Lollapalooza because mm. okay. I've done mm. Lollapalooza in Chicago, amazing. I love Chicago. Lollapalooza I did in Paris was also like Ooh. unbelievably fun. Um, there is I did a Lollapalooza in Berlin that was amazing, um, and I did all the three in South America too. So wow. I think just because they were all in different countries. I had such cool experiences every time. Um, I think the craziest crowds I've ever seen was the ones in South America. And I like, I've actually heard that it was, I think 2018 maybe that I did it. And the lineup was insane. And they had three festivals and each festival was three days. So you and the people on your stage kind of just rotated every day. So every day I was with the same people and it was, um, Weathen was starting out. Then Louis the child, then me. Then either Whoa. Dylan Francis or Mac Miller. It was depending on who, like oh, Mac oh Miller. Oh my god! Won. And then DJ yeah. Snake at the end of the night. And it was Fuck. like, can we, can we make it out to a lot of just for one stage? And wow. like the DJ Snake sets there in South America during that was it was the craziest <laughs> energy I think I've ever seen from a show. It was like forty thousand people, but instead of like the first like bit jumping yeah. just yeah. all the way back, so far back that you could see like the sound like this like 
everyone would be jumping like this because oh, it would take a second. Oh, the, the crowd was so deep that it literally took a second for them to like, you know, they were like <laughs> yeah, hearing the music so at different sick. times so they would be jumping, but it, it was crazy. That just makes me think of, um, you know, Brazil and New Year's Eve. Like I've been oh, seeing yeah. so many videos, They'll like the drone thing. videos of like the entire fest. Oh it's just my like one god. million yeah. people literally. Oh my yeah. god. Let's that. let's manifest this right now because I know we go to a lot of California raves, obviously, because yeah. we're here in California. Yeah. But if we make it out to Lala, for sure. Outside Dude, the yeah. US. Yeah. 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 I'm I'm you know. I want to try Tomorrowland. You know. EDC Mexico amazing. is like a thing See, that I want to try. Mexico's amazing. Not, uh, I mean, yes, international <laughs> festivals for sure, but I feel like just multi genre festivals in general, like uh Okeechobee is something it's my favorite because of that very fact seeing yeah. earth wind and fire while like oh, you know tripping yeah. on pre-workout was amazing <laughs> <laughs> and then of course uh bonnaroo Lollapalooza, burning yeah. man like there's so many like i don't think i could survive burning man yeah. well, you don't have to do all 10 days I think I'll pass like, on burning man. you guys but have to make it out to life is beautiful one year i, I, I want to try do. life is beautiful you guys do I try I, that as one. someone who just tried it this last year it's it's a good festival wait when yeah. is it it's in September. September. It's, it's usually the but like I will, second or third week. I will say it's it was the same weekend as Lost Lands this year. Oh. And I am trying to hit Lost Lands this year too. And I am also trying to hit Lost Lands, but I will say if they are separate weekends, I will try to hit both if I can. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that we've done like <laughs> five weekends in a row. Well, the only problem is they're both in different states. Yeah. So yeah. we'd have to work something out for that. But yeah. Um, Life is beautiful. I'm tired it's thinking about it. There's a lot of like <laughs> tired thinking Whoa. about. It. I only went one day, but it was it was fantastic. Uh, who do, who do we even? Oh, we ended on Odessa. Mm -hmm. Always Ooh. amazing, Whoa. by the way. Um, got to see uh, Nelly. Yeah. Dude, Jan and I had this. <laughs> Nelly, <laughs> we had this so fucking good. thing the whole time. We were just like, "Yo, play the song." You know the one that's like, na 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 na. And then we just started to, every song that came on. We, we just started singing. turning it into that <laughs> yeah. song. And, and then every set after that, we're like, "Hey, yo, this sounds <laughs> like." Yeah, oh, dude, so life good. is beautiful like, so damn, fun. Damn, Nelly said it's rare. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I can actually say that, you know. Dude, I saw Green now. Day, the Gorillas, wow. like yeah. Arctic Monkeys. Where I've seen Cage. The life here? is beautiful. Oh, Life is yeah. Beautiful. Cage nice. the Elephant. Yeah, wow. I've seen wow, them all. That's so good. Yeah, we saw Khalid. Khalid, that was good. I saw him at Coachella that year too. He killed it. So good. Mm -hmm. He's so good. I saw Red Hot Chili Peppers at the Paris Lollapalooza. That was ah, insane. Your throwback. Paris. Your throwback. One of my favorites. So good. I'll never forget when they were putting Red Hot Chili Peppers tracks um, on all the Disneyland rides where they were right. doing like a promotion. Yeah, it was like back in back when we were in high school, I think. Um, or it was like 2010 era. Wow. And uh, I'd be on Space Mountain and they're playing fucking Red Hot Chili Peppers. In California. Right <laughs> yeah. No, and it was it was it was a vibe, dude. That's so like cool. you're on California screaming and they're just playing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, you say yeah. California screaming? Uh, what, sorry, what? Isn't it called Screamin' California? No, no, no. no. Uh, the the roller coaster yeah, is California Screamin'. Oh. I always thought it was then, Screamin' California. Oh, maybe it no, it's definitely California Screamin'. And they screamin were playing Californication, yeah. Wow. They, did, they changed it to the incredible... Uh, like incredible the, coaster. Oh, yeah. Incredible it's coaster. So fun. Oh. It's my favorite. I need to go back favorite. to Disneyland. <laughs> Michelle weird. and I are planning. We're trying to plan and go There's a Disney Channel night. <gasps> yeah and oh. it's like after Wait. hours they close the park and then they do like parades of like disney channel original songs isn't isn't there like a rave night at there Disneyland? is there right. is 2024 oh it's mm -hmm. this year it's, i'm pretty sure it's this year uh -huh. a rave night at disneyland yeah they like close the oh, park yeah should we go yeah, yeah i heard about yeah. that should we go yeah <laughs> dude there's no reason not hey, to passes Tyler, go down? on sale Man. today let's go oh, wait are you, okay <laughs> if you're actually not if you're actually not busy i'm in what's gonna be a challenge but oh, we'll, oh, we'll make oh a day you're not busy oh gosh, and we'll, go. we'll make it like a, okay. a <laughs> five <laughs> person what is it what's after quadruple uh, quintuplet. quintuple it'll be a quintuple date Ooh. everybody just brings dodecahedron yeah. bring, 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 bring uh bring mrs your nightmare we'll or yeah. miss That's nightmare Wait, are you are you based in cali I, yep or I'm la culver city yeah you live in culver city yeah yep. well you're my neighbor what's up Super <laughs> so. <What's> up? <laughs> tyler one more time <laughs> it was just so what's up <laughs> Now it's time for fan questions. Ooh. And if you guys don't send in fan questions, you can. Every time we have a story that says send in your fan questions, we get this from your Instagram story. So basically, if your question doesn't get picked, that's on you for that's not sending you. it in. 
Yep. She's telling the truth. I, I can see the Instagram right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A uh, Scorpio Soph seven 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 asks, "What's your weirdest fan interaction?" Oh man, I don't even know. I like I don't have that many weird ones. I feel like people are generally respectful. Um, yeah. Oof. I don't know. Might have to. Might have to come back to this. Actually, let me let me see if I have. I have a random note of just hilarious random stories. Okay, I, I love, I love how you that. put notes for this. Yeah, I don't know. I just over the years I would start to be like, I'm never gonna remember that this happened. <laughs> most of them are not. Uh, no, most of them are not like fan interactions. Or like, like funny one. stuff that like you've experienced. Something hilarious that yeah. happened on tour. Uh, let's see. Oh, I mean, this is absurd i don't i honestly questioned my own sanity when this happened but <laughs> um so i was on a flight from la to dallas like three months ago or something, six months ago something like that it was last year not not that long ago and i was like asleep i got classic got upgraded i'm sitting in the first row so mm -hmm. i'm in 1b so there's no one in front of me mm -hmm. and i'm just sitting there like sleeping and all of a sudden i get like <laughs> A little like you know a little hey like kind of tap on my shoulder i'm like what's going on and there's a late a person a girl i i this is so blurry in my mind that i was like i just didn't lose half sleep and she's leaning over her hand is literally like this close to my face and there's just like pocket mushrooms like it, like just like <gasps> a couple little mushroom pieces sitting in her hand and she's like do you want any of these i have a few left and i'm like on the I was plane? just like, like I'm like what I kind of <laughs> like was fuck? so shocked like I kind of woke up and was like you were like, like you were one dreaming of those, like, no, am I dreaming <laughs> it literally like, and no then she kind of was like oh my god what and then like like realized she was doing something wrong almost and then like sprinted back and I was like what the fuck and I look over to the left and uh -huh. the lady next to me is asleep and then I look over to the right and the other two people are both just like on their laptops working and then the flight attendant is like making coffee and I'm like no did, one just saw this. Did like, you just dream and it? And I immediately text my girlfriend because I'm like, this just happened right now. And I did not just wake up. Like, this literally just happened. And I'm like, who in the right mind <laughs> offers someone mushrooms on a plane? Like, and why me? I was asleep. What if she recognized you? I realized I was wearing sweatpants that had mushrooms on them. Uh, and they had mushrooms like all over. Uh, okay, but still. You know, that's, that's still very that's cold. In public? That's wild. On and a was, plane like, in mid public flight? is wild. And that's I was, like, actually. I, I mean, she must. My theory is that she had eaten many mushrooms before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the There's no like, other way. That's what was left. His There's pants no other are mushrooms. Way. He must also he want mushrooms. That's, that's it gotcha. for sure. That you is, know, yeah. I even waited for out. like 15, 20 minutes at the, after everyone was getting off the plane. I was like, I'm just going to wait here because Did you remember what she, she must like? come back up yeah. to say hi. And I couldn't remember what she looked like because it was literally like three to four seconds. Like, yeah. It was so fast. And I just waited and all these people came off and I was like, could be that person. And then I was like, kind of like, Hey, trying to get their attention. <laughs> and they just I'll walked past, the, I and I was like, them after all. <laughs> I know. I was like, hey, you still got this. You know, um, gotta love the poor community. And then you there, know? Was a, there was a lady who came off with a full rainbow wedding dress, and I was like, that seems like who it would be, but I would have remembered. Yeah. I think, interesting. She had, interesting. <laughs> she had a full wedding. Damn. But very weird experience. Interesting. Dang. Guess you could say that was almost a nightmare. Almost. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Anyways. <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> you had someone on here that said, why are you so sexy for real? Um, anyway. <laughs> Damn, let's go. <laughs> um, here is Dro asks, a collaboration with Skrillex. When is it going to happen? Oh, I wish. I mean, I've definitely... You know, I think we first connected a couple of times way back in the day when he, when he played Street, like you were talking about. Um, and, you know, at that time, we were like, let's work on something. I sent him a few ideas. And um, obviously, I'm a busy man. That man is infinitely more busy oh, than me so God. and i think he's just always moving around to different projects and yeah. just doing a million things at once so oh, yeah he is i've bugged him about it a bunch of times i i you know i mentioned it again i saw him around like this time last year february of last year um yeah 
at Ultra Abu Dhabi and we got to hang oh, wow. out together, which was like really cool because there wasn't that many artists. So we ended up spending like a good bit of time together Sick. and he played a whole like private set for all of us on the W roof. Sounds oh, like him. Wow. Like, sounds like him. He That's literally like was like, a, got on the, the mic, VIP was like, experience, hey, free bro. drinks for everybody up here right now. That also sound, he did something like that in LA recently. Michelle so went. Nice. They yeah. had free grilled, like free shots everywhere, grilled yeah. cheese. She has <gasps> the best grilled cheese she like, ever had. What? The nicest. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck did he this happen? Where? Yeah. It was an underground thing. Uh, the the, the one fuck? show I regret not going to, to this day in my entire life, it was 2016. 2016, I was an Uber driver. 2017, maybe. I was an Uber driver at the time. I drive this random person I don't know, obviously. It's just a client. Just drop them off, and they're telling me what they're doing. Oh, yeah, it's like a Skrillex warehouse party. Like, uh, you know, if you know, you know. I might have gone go. there, honestly. I should have <laughs> gone. They invited me. They were like, yeah, come in. And I'm like, oh. I got to pay my rent. Like, you know, I got bills to pay. Was it like weird underground party? Like literally underground? Yeah, it was like. I a, went to was, a few of those when I I pulled first up came. to like a warehouse in East LA. Yeah. Huh. Damn. I remember going to one of those, and it was right when... Um, this was before I was doing any shows or anything, but it was right as I moved here and and Skrillex was there playing and like <clears throat> Kill the Noise was there and like oh my God. Uh, all these people and I was just like, oh my God, these are all my favorite producers ever. <laughs> and I remember Skrillex played uh, a bunch of stuff from the Disclosure album that had just come out. It was like yeah. when Latch and like all that, that oh, whole yeah. like uh, Settle, I think was the album oh came out. Yeah. He was playing like the T remix and the Totally Enormous Legendary. Extinct Dinosaurs remix. Yeah. And, like, oh my that. God. Totally yeah. Enormous Extinct Dinosaurs. And it's he was just playing all this weird house music. You know, that's such a early wow. core memory of like being in LA. And just, yeah. Like, deep cut shit. right there. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. But yeah, hopefully one day we'll work on something I've like, yeah, been trying for a long time believe, for sure. I believe. Let's see if this happened eventually. Come on, Skrill. I know you're watching. Skrill. <laughs> I hope you're watching. Yeah. Skrill, I think please watch. Love please, you. Please, Sunny. Ooh. Please. <laughs> please. God. Wow. Christian95, always with the good questions. Mm. Um, what's something you like to do to disconnect from everything? Like when you need to take a break from every, from music, from all of it, just disconnect. I sleep snowboarding is one for sure sleeping also I do love to sleep I sleep great sleep is great um, big sleep nap guy um, uh, I'm a big stuff. hiker and backpacking outdoors mm. type stuff I love nice. to um, yeah I don't do that many overnights but I love to do you know one or two overnight backpacking stuff what or was just your favorite hiking. place to do that my favorite ever probably was last year or actually in october this past year i went to uh yosemite uh mm. national park did the fucking permit way in advance got everything um and did a, th a two-night backpack um from like yeah just one side of park into the valley basically mm. and in the valley so it's not too bad but um yeah it was great it was like 20 four miles in three days that's <gasps> crazy i basically fun. grew up in yosemite you carry everything in your backpack yeah, yeah really oh nice we used to go like every other month nice oh, which is why i'm so not an outdoorsy person absurdly anymore <laughs> beautiful. i am obsessed with it they're so great um yeah I, mean, I think we didn't see a single person for like 48 hours straight. oh my it god was, i think we saw maybe two people or something but yeah it was extreme levels of peace and quiet for yeah. sure how big was it your was group nice. just me and one friend yeah. no wow. yeah. just carry that's me in your scary backpack. I, I was in i was in boy scouts so we we did camping trips like that as yeah. well uh we had like a catalina back tri backpack trip every memorial day weekend nice. where we literally hiked the whole weekend with everything that we were living in on our backs yeah it's a 22 mile hike in total i don't think and i would survive that that was, was hard because there's no water you have to carry all your yeah water you have to carry catalina ca camelbacks were fucking prime back then yeah. but um i remember i do I remember forgot the name Campbellback. Dude, prime <laughs> part of the yeah, trip was right? the second day, the middle of the trip on the on the longest hike day, which was I think eight miles yeah. in total. Um, there was we stopped by uh, it's called Airport in the Sky, which is an airport right in the middle of Catalina Island, nice. and uh, they had the best buffalo burgers there. Ooh, the whoa. best Dude. buffalo burgers they have I have ever had. Bison just walking yeah, around. Oh, sorry, it was a bison burger. Sorry, yeah. it was a bison burger. That's crazy. It, it, incredible. I do love buffalo burgers. You just hmm. flashback to college at burgers and brew Ugh. yeah <laughs> stop i'm hungry stop <laughs> I'm yes. stop it okay so britta mills with a z at the end asked what was your childhood nightmare like a reoccurring <laughs> yeah childhood Ooh. nightmare i don't i don't know if i had like a recurring one i mean my current recurring one that always happens which makes the most sense ever is always just 
me somehow either missing the show or not getting there on time. But the whole dream consists of, okay, like I'm in the green room. Everyone's here. We're all going to the show. I got to take a golf cart to the stage in like 20 minutes. And then it's like, all of a sudden it's like 30 minutes. I'm like, oh shit, we were supposed to leave 10 minutes ago. And then we like go out to the golf cart and like the golf cart's not there or we start to go and then there's a million people walking and I'm like, I'm not going to get to the show. We're never going to make it. <laughs> and I just spend the whole dream wrong, trying wrong. to get to stage and I just never get there. I'm just oh, always right. No. Or I finally get to stage. I'll like finally Damn. get to the stage and it's like EDC main stage and I go up to plug in oh, and no. either there's no one in the crowd. There's like two people in the crowd like, you suck. You know, just like <gasps> oh, die no. silence. Like, are no. ready? <laughs> yeah, like, literally. Oh, no. Or I'll go and like play the intro and then some other song starts playing and I'm like, no, this is not it. And I'm like just panicking because like some other random Whoa. song. Is <laughs> I don't know. Just random anxiety dreams about basically my oh you have like a, you have like a whole story wow. going on that sounds I like just an anxiety like, dream that's a fucking nightmare I just have like dreams of like my, heard my teeth falling out or some shit like you have I a whole ass had, story I've yeah. had those too I've had the classic like or you like know, falling like, can't run away from yeah, something yeah. Or like my teeth falling out I've had those for sure once or twice but uh, I think the the recurring one is just always like show related and just like damn yeah. not, not something not going right wow yeah. I don't know those are so stressful. What's going on? And what's Anxiety, going on in your we head, love her. I mean, I've never, I've never missed a set really ever. I've had like <laughs> that's one. probably why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Bro. Yeah. That's not. That's probably here. that's probably like the thing that you're just most anxious about. Like you, you know, you put in all the work, yeah. you do yeah. everything, but it's like there's things you can't control when you go yeah. to a show. Yeah. Like you know, 100%. there's there's so many moving pieces at, at a festival. You yeah. know, like yeah. just getting to your set. Yeah. Is a lot, a lot of a lot of people. One thousand percent. Yeah, it's different everywhere too. So you know, you just never quite know what you're getting into sometimes. But I don't know. It can be hectic. I just did the Tomorrowland in uh, Brazil, and it was like ended up being just like crazy rainstorms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we left our hotel at like four forty five and got to my green room at nine thirty. Like just just trying to get in there, taking yeah. the bus. Like it took us five hours, literally, to get to. <laughs> Holy fuck! And then yeah, it was it was just crazy. And thank God we like left early, and all these people were missing their yeah. sets, and like it just oh, yeah. the just became crazy. Fuck! That just makes me think of um Forbidden Kingdom. Yeah, the, like our experience this year at Forbidden Kingdom, it was pouring, pouring. They Last year. shut. Oh, it was last year now. Yeah. They yeah. shut down the festival for I, a couple I, hours. I yeah. still can't wrap around just putting like 24 in a date because it's, yeah. I still think it's 2023. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you're, you're, men <coughs> you're mentioning the rain festivals made me think of um, all the New Year's festivals. Uh, did it, do, did we ever confirm, did it rain in Countdown? I, I don't oh yeah, it did. It did. It, it, did. it, it did, but it wasn't it was as bad bit, as the year yeah. before. Yeah, it was. The year before uh, was it was rough. just as unprepared as last year, though, from what I understand, because oh, wow. mud everywhere. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Well, honestly, speaking of just like rain and weather conditions at festivals, I know because we are in the middle of winter. Um, I mean, what cold. are some like tips that we have for like ravers out there that are going to all these winter festivals? unprepared because honestly i know for me personally like i would ever only know how to prepare for summer festivals mm. or like you know festivals when it's hot but cold festivals were always a bitch and a half to like prep for um bring hand warmers emergency blankets yeah. you're gonna look like a burrito but it's like the best thing ever they usually have them at the festivals <laughs> yeah. too you can grab, grab them, at the them. Festivals. like it's it's in yeah hand yeah. warmers always hand, hand warmers, warmers. Those, that is the mm -hmm. like you yeah. can go almost anything else and you'll be fine, but hand warmers will save you. Pashminas. Uh, fleece, fleece stockings, like for my girlies who still want to like show their legs, but honestly, it's still cold. Like yeah. the inside, it's like fleece. Uh, ponchos. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh, going to say I do that. Like just some, anything that's waterproof and really thin, mm -hmm. and then I can just yeah. wear it or put it over my backpack and me if I have exactly. like my computer and like a non-waterproof backpack yeah. also one that not a lot of people think of is um ponchos for your shoes huh? too. yeah yeah you can get those, those are on pretty Amazon. Fresh. that's a thank you i just ponchos got them <laughs> 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 ponchos does for it, your shoes yeah, does it so does you, it look like like what the uh surgeons wear in yes, like the sort surgery of, yeah. room um, yeah. and you can get clear ones so like if you're worried about it taking away from your fit you could you just get the clear ones and you can still see your shoes and <laughs> i think yeah. that I got I, did, I got them. Interesting. If it's cold and rainy at a festival, and this is coming from someone who like, like a good majority of the, you know, the prep is for my outfits. I don't give a shit what I'm wearing. As long as I'm 
dry, dry and warm. Yeah, mm-hmm. this girl, this girl, Hills. literally. Uh, what, what festival was it? EDC Orlando. EDC Orlando. Uh, I I was like the only one that had a poncho when it was raining, mm-hmm. and Jan literally was like, "Devin, let me get in that." So we were both like in the <laughs> poncho yeah. recording was, a video. Yeah, like, I was like in his like stomach. Like, there's no way, Dev. There's no way. I'm, my hair looks good today. Like, yeah, no. Uh, but I will I will say you know um, because we were at Decadence. Uh, luckily, it didn't rain uh, mm-hmm. while we were at Decadence. So thank God for that. Um, but I definitely wanted to talk a little bit about uh, just some pain points, uh, just some things that like I, I know for me personally ran into at the festival that I feel like could be useful to talk about just for a lot of ravers in general. Um, so I know one thing, for example, was the porta potties, right? We've all <gasps> had porta Sorry. We've all had porta potty experiences yep. at Decadence. There was um, at a certain point in the night where there was just so many people at the porta potties. It was almost like you were at a stage, mm-hmm. right? And I was in line uh, for the porta potties. Um, and typically, I don't usually go to the bathroom at the festivals. I go before and after because mm-hmm. I obviously I don't avoid. I don't. Yeah, yeah I want to yeah. avoid using <laughs> the bathroom costs. while I'm at the festival, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But for this this time in particular, you know, I had to go. So. Um, so I went to the porta potties and I hadn't been in a while, so I kind of forgot what it was like. And I was waiting in line, and there was this couple in line at the front of this porta potty. And mind you, each porta potty has a line of people, right? So this couple is kind of getting like you know touchy feely at oh the front of the God. line, yep. and they get in the porta potty. And I kid you not, me this poor girl who was in front of me was just waiting so patiently. We waited there for like ten minutes, and I finally decided like, dude, I'm not waiting anymore. I gotta go. And so I went into another line, which was way faster. And when I got out of that porta potty, that girl was still waiting <gasps> in that line. So I just want to say, like, dude, if you are a couple and you are go, like, I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm not going to assume that you guys are going into the porta potty to fuck. But like, <laughs> pause. Apparently, apparently, uh, decadence this year. A lot of people were saying that was happening a lot. It wasn't just that one couple. Guys, I mean, can, can a lot of people guys, were like, like, like in the porta potties. The yeah. thing is, is it's a lot not, of people were fucking in the porta potties. It's not even the like fact that they're. The yeah, it's not even the fact that you're doing that. It's the fact that you're holding up the line in of people who need to potty. go. Oh my god! I mean, yes, that's gross. But like, guys, be considerate and of mindful. like, the, yeah, the people behind you. Like, people gotta go, man. Like, dude, you can you can wait. You can it's not wait the time until and late. place for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, not the time and place. Really not the time place. Yeah. So that was one thing that I noticed. Um, another thing was we had a friend who um actually got thrown up on. I in wish the crowd. I saw that. Where oh. was I? It was during said the sky. Yeah. Uh, it was yeah. Oh, I was, was there. It there? Yeah, you were. You were. We were. Remember, we had just met up, and then I went to go find them, Where, and I found them. You were in the back of the crowd. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I was. Yeah. And I I've, was so drunk once again. <laughs> I've been noticing. I've been noticing that this has been like a reoccurring thing. I've just been seeing a lot more people. You know, not being. You know. Some and it, it's okay. Like sometimes it happens, you know. It's like the some beatbox. Bro. People can't, you know, they can't like handle their shit, and, and that's okay. You know, it happens. Sometimes you need that enabled, like uh, in order yeah. to know it's for like a next wake up time. call. Exactly right. Yeah. So, but my only thing is, just like when you're in the middle of the crowd and you don't have a trash can nearby or whatever, like where are you gonna do it, right? And I honestly think that people should, like, someone in the group should have like. Uh, a plastic bag just on hand why not just put it in yeah. your in your bag it's not really that it doesn't take up that much more space unless you have like a packed bag or a small one um but that way you at least have something to throw up in yeah you gotta hold it yeah, like during the like, set because like but... imagine <laughs> Like the little Imagine airplane your head, yeah, your head right? banging but what if your head banging and then it like <laughs> loosens up and then it just you tie every- you bring no bring like a walmart bag and like tie it up and then that way and then just you yeah you're gonna have to hold on to it but it's better than the alternative of again that's, of that's throwing true. up on someone else be considerate of the people around you yeah. try not to take but away it, from would other it be hard for people to remember to actually bring plastic bags it to, might but to be honest i think people are gonna dude people need to bring gum and no, like how many times do people like oh yeah let's go get gum before we go in for sure but again you know that's why like i i that's wanted me. to bring attention to this yeah. you know it's like <laughs> it's not that much of an extra thing to I, will, remember. I will point out though at least for decadence because i know <clears throat> i know exactly the situation you're talking about they didn't have enough trash cans just in general like like i'm thinking about insomniac events yeah. that we go to trash cans everywhere filled to the brim even yeah. Yeah. but uh at decadence i i remember like i had uh, food trash food or whatever like i had stuff to throw away i'm looking around for a trash can 
and it see, took a while to find something. Hey, that's another that's another use that having a plastic bag on you could have. Devin is so adamant about bringing your bring own plastic your own plastic bag. bag. Bro, yeah. I, I'm telling it's it's <laughs> like it's you would think that it would be like more of a thought of thing, but not I think a lot the of people issue think at hand. It. The issue at hand is it's like, just it's, remembering. Well, I mean, remembering and it's plastic. Yeah, it's it's producing more trash. Uh, yeah, but the whole purpose of you bringing it is to, if you have trash or someone needs to puke or whatever, you have true, that thing. And true, then but you can first hold thought, on to it. True, but everyone's first thought is, we'll just go to a trash can. Not if you're in the middle of the crowd, That's though. true. Yeah, but I don't think people are thinking about the, the, the fact that they're going to need to throw up or use it, like, throw For trash sure. away when they're in the middle of the crowd. But again, it's the prepared, it's the preparedness, yeah. right? No, you know, I, I agree. I feel like that's something that's a way for a lot of people to be prepared. But I feel like it's such a, it's such a, like, the layers of thought you have to think of before you get there to actually decide to do that. Yeah. That's what, cause I've been thinking about it. I've never seen anyone do that. Yeah. Why? It's a rave dad, yeah. rave mom thing for sure. Oh, like for large, sure. Large gallon Ziploc has a billion uses in general. Yeah, too. Right. I was like, I sometimes will bring them to just if I, if it does rain and then it stops raining, you don't want, like, yeah, you, you put your put wet your, shit in yeah, there. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. They end up being really, I, it was funny. I was just thinking about, I, I brought Ziplocs for my camping shit too. When yeah, I was backpacking yeah. as well, just cause I have to put all my trash in there and then I have to put like same thing. It's just like, yeah. and even when I'm like traveling on the road, I sweat my <laughs> balls off every set i'm just dripping sweat Wait, every single you know time what? now that, that you mentioned it the questions like how do you why are you always so like your shirt's always so wet after i a noticed set? that i just I was always gonna say like, every time i see you after your set dude i'm you're always just sweaty like, i always jump around a lot i feel like i just always around. have a ton of energy and i feel like it's very like clear yeah. the difference in energy yeah. from the crowd hey, when you're cardio. standing there and yeah. being like hanging out and when you're like really into it yeah um so yeah i just i'm always really dripping sweat but i li literally i'll put my sweaty shirt in like a bag so that because i have to pack up and go to another show see that's smart so yeah. Like, yeah think of it How almost like I, you're like, camping the rest of my shit not gross yeah like if you think of it as like you're going to the fest like festival like what are some things that you would bring on a camp tr camping trip granted not everyone's you know been on a camping trip but like what are some things that you could bring that are useful you know yeah um and then sorry the the last thing that uh i wanted to bring up as well was um leaving the festival early i know it's like oh i am notorious for leaving the festival yeah. early that is what i do and there's a reason we for know it. yes <laughs> we know and we're we like where's she that? so early that she didn't even go we and we <laughs> like, planned once it hits midnight i'm going home bye guys <laughs> Midnight's a little early, but but I definitely like if you can even fifteen minutes makes a huge difference. Um, and I know at Decadence, like we didn't have a problem leaving the lot because we had that was part of our plan. Our mm -hmm. itinerary was leaving a little early, but um, we have a friend who stayed until the end, and he said that. Um, leaving the lot they did not leave the lot until 5 30 in the morning because oh. uh the workers left because they were <laughs> sick of it so ravers had to get out and do traffic control oh my that's God. pretty bad can you imagine a bunch of ravers getting out and like but did doing they do it that? well i don't know but he just said that they he said literally ravers were getting out and, oh, and doing God. traffic control. you know you gotta do what you gotta do if you want to go home you gotta get this thing moving 100 percent. oh my god and last last note on that too is um guys like for reals when you are leaving the festival make sure if you drove there whoever is driving your group is uh sober so and can operate burr. a vehicle because um there was an accident that we heard of at decadence uh, a fatal accident and um we had some friends actually see the um they saw the actual scene and it was not pretty and very scarring so make sure you know we are being responsible and having uh proper dds if no one can do it get in just get an uber yeah, it's better leave than your the car. alternative <laughs> leave, your, leave car. your car go get it in the next day yeah yeah and um, yeah, on that note too, um, let us know if there's any other tips yeah, that you guys love think to know. for the for the winter festivals and everything. Um, or just other festivals than what in general. Say. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, we barely started like, the year. I feel like a lot of them are general stuff. Like you yeah. know, like like stay hydrated, stay warm. It's it's just best to take care of your body, take care of your 100%, people. Yeah. You know, you want to be prepared for these things. Like that's pretty much it. Yeah, I always say take your you know vitamin c immune yes. immune boosters oh things of that nature prior to going because like yes. dude you're gonna be in the dude, cold vitamin system's gonna drop so key so key to take yep. people always forget and I, I i'm adamant on this i feel like a lot of people forget yeah um you're at this festival for like eight to ten hours yeah this isn't like oh yeah you're going somewhere with your friend for like two hours yeah. you don't need to worry about like 
taking care of your bike. Nah, dude, like this is eight to 10 hours. Dude, yeah. back in the day, we used to stop at gas stations to get the little vitamin packs that oh, you yeah. can get there. And on the way to the festival, literally, my I remember this back when my parents were like bringing me in my group. And I would be like, dad, can we stop at a gas station? And I would like come back with just a bunch of vitamin packs. All right, guys, take your vitamins That's so, so far. That's funny. awesome. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. Um, but yeah, uh, I know we're starting to near the end of the episode. Um, I need and to I hear know another you have song. another song. I need for to hear us. another song. I do Please. have another. Oh, bless <laughs> Tyler, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after that last one, after the last oh, one, crazy. I don't know how you can top that, but I you know, one, it's, a, it's a little less heavy. It's, I'm open it's, to it. It's uh, the Jewels Club. Oh, okay, so it will <gasps> top yeah, so it. So tell us yes, a little yes, more yes, about yes. this. Um, so this one too, actually, we started it a while ago, over a year ago now. Um, I've been playing it in my sets. It's really awesome. It's kind of a, um, a different tempo. I always end up doing like house music 128, yeah. 130 mm-hmm. or like bass music 140, 150. This one's like 135. It's kind of where a lot of the garage tunes ah, kind of sit. Ah, ah, um, that limbo. So yeah, right now it's an instrumental. Uh, we have a really awesome vocalist um, who's doing a vocal on it. This UK um, rapper chick. UK. She's going to make it really sick. But for now it has a little temporary thing on it. So. It's definitely giving me that UK underground EDM. Yeah. I already know this is my speed. This is me. Ah! I will Bring start back crying. The track. I will start crying. Oh. I love that breakbeat, honestly. Trap is so supreme. Like, if y'all don't like trap, you're missing out. Bring back the trap. Oh my god, I'm sweaty again. Run the trap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we're cooking. Crazy. Loosen it over there. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love that drum pattern. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Get that was on. Sick. me in here. Dun, dun. And you were like, oh yeah, it's a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's super chill. That's all. No, you man. call that it's not chill? chill? But it's more chill than the other one. I maybe not. I don't know. I don't know, I man. Trap was. does something to me. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was sick. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, you guys like wow. It. That's gonna go off. When's that come out? giving me life. Um, that one will actually be one before the liquid change. Oh God class. bless. Uh, that one's the soonest. Actually, that will be out in like six weeks or something. <gasps> oh, it's still a long time. I'm weeks, not yeah. a very wait, six, patient six, person. Wait, six weeks from <laughs> it'll be out in like two weeks. Okay. Got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We weeks. have the time travel a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be out in February. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. It's, Thank I you. think it's like February. T- I don't know. We just moved it back one week. I think it's twenty something. Whatever that Friday is. Got it. Well, Let's thank you for go. blessing us with that. Because wow, that was that trap was so is sick. indeed coming hurts. back. Uh, my face hurts oh, from the bass face. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, and I love much. that break beat that you put in there too on Hell the build yeah. up. So yeah. good. Hell yeah. Thank you. It's either it's either love that synth, love that breakbeat. You know it's what? Two, 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 two things. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> he tries. I like the simple things. Oh, right. and 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 also he went to Sun God. Those three things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 
I'm screaming. We're just targeting me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are at the end of the episode, so I guess it's that, <laughs> about that time. Boo. This is such a good one. This is really fun. Such a fun oh, yeah. so I want to hear more time. music. Yeah, please please yeah. let everyone know what, what you got coming up. Plug, plug, soon. plug. So a couple years back, I did the Unsound EP. It was like a four-track EP. I had like the first Ray Volpe collab and um, a couple other tunes with friends. So I'm kind of doing a part two of that. Um, oh, okay. And um, every song on that was a collab. And so it's same thing. It's like... I think it's gonna be six maybe five songs yeah um but this song i just dropped with john casey and pauline is um gonna oh that one was which is there. phenomenal yeah, that was good oh, yeah. yeah thank you um yeah really stoked on that one as well and then um yeah i got four more of those are all collabs so um Hell yeah super super excited yeah let's I got go I love that you're like doing so much stuff with other artists too. Speaking yeah. of collabs, you just did a thing with Rez as well. You did a song oh, with yeah. Rez. Yes, that was yeah. super, super fun. That yeah. was another one. Also that, a banger. Um, yeah, I was really stoked. That one's also kind of different from what I usually do. It's a little more yeah. mid-tempo vibe. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, super stoked on that. I think uh, 2024, um, I'm like taking a little bit of a break from touring. I'm still doing shows, but um, you know, I have my residency in Vegas that I do every yeah. month. And then I have kind of... Um, you know, picked and choose a few specific festivals. I'm doing, uh, you know, the Electric Forest headline with big with the, our gigantic nightmare live show oh. thing, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna try. We're gonna Dude, try to make it out there. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to make. I want to go. Forest. That's so the one I want to make so bad. <laughs> it's, I will I'm drop really almost excited. any other festival to go to Electric Forest this year. It's a, I, it's a super special place. Yeah, if you I haven't been, go you gotta. so bad. Just tickets just always sell so fast. I know, yeah, but that's why they have the really official resale yeah. that happens not too long mm, after that. Yeah. Fuck. But yeah, so I, I might, this year, I, I, that's why I'm going to London too a bit, just working on music. Um, and then my goal would to be would be to not do like a hard ticket tour this year and plan yeah. it for starting this time next year. Got it. So I'm trying to put out this EP, um, you know, over the next couple months. And then I have a couple of really big, cool collab singles for the summertime yeah. um, that I'm finishing up. And then I kind of am just going to be in studio mode. And then, yeah, my goal would be like, right at the beginning of next year to be like here's a new album new tour and like yeah. new Hell stage yeah. and just kind of present everything at once yeah i got yeah. a lot of sleep you know i can like, <laughs> <go for laughs> this, this, year, this year is your time to sleep more I was yeah. about to say, that's, yeah. a, that's exactly. such a good way to do it too it's just like you know i mean with what you do there's so much happening it's like cool let's take a year to like like tour 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 go heavy yeah, yeah. then take a break yeah, Take a little bit break. more and more like 100%. you know Tyler time. Yeah, Tyler I mean, I'm time. sure I'm sure you guys know like you're saying if you did five festivals in a weekend like yeah. you get home for those days in between and it takes like a day or two to be just like relaxed and yeah. back into your normal thing yeah. and then mm -hmm. if you got back on Monday it's like okay now it's Wednesday and then you leave yeah. on Thursday or Friday. Yep. Yeah. You need your Tyler time. I just never I really it. got that like okay get let me there's no routine and yeah. anything like yeah. that so yeah. really trying to you know stay on top of that a little bit more this year and uh you know yeah not unhealthy but I could always be healthier so yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> trying that. to trying to do a little more of that and just write a bunch of music that you know that's kind of what drives the shows anyway so 100%. Are there, are there any like upcoming like immediate shows um, like in February, March that are, um, he's gonna be in London. Maybe. I was going to say all I have, Aside I have two I have Vegas gigs. I have, I'm doing the, uh, Thunderdome with excision in oh. Seattle. I think I saw a few, a uh, few people asking about that. So yeah, I'm, uh, doing the direct support for that one. So I'm really stoked about that. The rampage one, which is in February, that's in Europe. So I don't yep. know if anybody, over here, if you're in I Europe, wish. <laughs> go. Um, someone, someone did, someone did comment, uh, or put a question about rampage. It's, yeah. it's huge. It's like, definitely the biggest bass music festival in europe um so i'm really really excited list. to be there and um yeah otherwise just i don't know nothing nothing major major right now just just in studio mode and, yeah, oh yeah Love. dropping the ep that's it sick well tyler thank you so much thank for coming you. on this festival. So for fitting fun. us this into so your, fun. I appreciate your busy schedule i know yeah. of course you're constantly working and doing stuff and um that is one of the things that i think we, like we all admire about you so much is you're such a hard-working producer uh, in the scene and um just in general so yeah thank you thank so much you. again appreciate that um yeah so um now that we're at the end of the episode just want to take a quick moment to thank our patrons uh, if you didn't already know we have a patreon yep, yep. and speaking of patreon we are actually going to be recording uh, a bonus uh, episode with Tyler um, so definitely go check that out on the Patreon uh, what are we going to be doing on that we are going to be doing a very raunchy spilling secrets game of <laughs> never have I ever Ooh. 
and maybe <laughs> listening to some tunes because yeah. uh, we can't obviously we cannot yeah. listen to copyrighted mm-hmm. music on the on the full episode but we can on patreon yeah um, so if you want to know our juicy secrets go head over yeah, yeah. which oh. devin outed me who posted that story on the i'm peeking story oh. it wasn't me somebody it wasn't outed me, me. It but me. if you haven't seen that, that episode the full story is on the last uh, yes. patreon episode yeah. so yeah and by the way big shout out again to our patrons which i will have their names on screen yeah. while we are saying this um but yeah, go check out the Patreon, guys. Uh, we're yeah. gonna be we're gonna be a lot more active on that this year. I have well, more I, secrets to spill, but go ahead. And Tyler will be spilling all of his juicy secrets <laughs> on there too. Secret I, I have you all don't the want to miss every that. Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, but, I'd love to also say thank you for everyone who has already watched the full episode, or if you've already went to the Patreon to see the rest of the episode. Thank you. We appreciate you guys. We're gonna put their names on screen. So thank you for being yeah, here. Yeah, they'll be on screen while we're saying all this. Yep. Um, but yeah, again, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, we love and appreciate you guys so much. And if you haven't already, definitely please leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Let us know Sma- who you want to <laughs> smash s- that notification bell, like, subscribe, wanna, subscribe oh, comment. Oh God, I'm like cringing right now inside. But <laughs> let us it know. Embrace the cringe, Devin. Who, let us know who you want to see next. Mm-hmm. Um, and let us know if you'd like to have Tyler on again. I know he's a busy guy, but we had fun. So. Maybe if you guys convince him, he can come back again. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm ready whenever. Hell yeah. Got the bangers ready to go. Hell yeah. Yes. Um, all right, guys. We will see you in two weeks. Thank you again for being here. Subscribe to the channel. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.